All right. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I wanted a song to end first. Um. Yeah. Let's just get into it. <laughs> I had something I wanted to bring up, but I forgot. Alright. Let me get my screen up. Damn, that was loud. Oh yeah, the screen. <laughs> oh, we just gotta fix this. Wait. Oh my god! Oh, I don't wanna... I'm lowering it slowly because I don't want... I don't want... Jesus! I have to do it slow because if I type, if I, like I have to type one, one number at a time, so I'm at th like 30, minus 30 decibels, so if I would have gone to that by typing it, it would have went from what I had before, Jesus Christ that's loud. Okay, now it's at 30. That might be a little too much. Yeah, if I type out what I... What I want to lower to, it's gonna go super loud for a split second. Because for some reason it counts me typing the first number being 2 most of the time. Oh boy, that was... That was quite the wake-up call. <laughs> Nemo's just on the floor. Breathing out. Uh... Let's see how much I remember of this. The screen seems to be fine. Do I have any filters? Looks fine to me. <laughs> I don't want it to be too low though, because I know some streams in pass have been just so low with the game volume. One I've noticed the most is the X6 streams, which I'm kind of happy about because I can insert my own music, which is the same music. From the from the game anyways. I think it sounds better though. Adds to the video, but I don't want that for every stream, so... Alright, let's see what we have here. <laughs> Manuals? Let's check the options first. I haven't been on this game since I lost my audio that could... Oh, I see. Wait, I can configure the... No, I'd rather not, because pretty much every button on the Genesis controller for these games is jump. <laughs> Save and exit? What? Oh, I guess saving the options. And this, this, this music reminds me of Blinks. <laughs> I need to get back to Blinks too. Oh no, I was losing, losing that much progress really sucked though. So, I 
guess that's my excuse for now. I know this in the... Um... I know... The, P the PS2 and Xbox version of this game has even more games added to it. I didn't know that when I got this, so... Let's look at some comics. Movies? Sonic Adventure 2, Pat. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is typical old collector games. I mean, it's the same nowadays too, just retro games have a lot of extras. Retro collections. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I think these are just covers. I remember when Game Grumps. I think they were. Uh, they played on the PS2 version. They spent a whole episode just making fun of the comics. <laughs> that was pretty entertaining. Let's just head into it already. I want to start up Sonic 3 first because I want to show my time with the game. Oh yeah, for some reason... For some reason, the way to unlock, like... Yeah, I'm pretty sure at the start you only have these four. And the way to unlock the rest of the games is just start up the other games set number of times, so I just, when I first got the game, I just started each of these four and just even more and restarted over and over and over to unlock everything. Uh, that's kind of why I never really came back to this until now when my saves are back. I can say this here. Um, pretty much never really played these. This one I almost I got to the end of it and failed, sadly. And this game this is this is the one game that makes me feel sick playing it for too long. This is the one I spent most time because it's Sonic 3 and Knuckles, obviously. Uh, no, no. I'm gonna go into why Sonic 2 is, um, uh, pretty funny with me. Let's just go to where I wanna go first. Why is with that lazy eye there? <laughs> Couldn't they have picked a better frame? <laughs> Sounds very compressed. Oh, it begins. So we have this file, Sonic and Tails, 100%. This file, Sonic, alone. Everything on it, all the Chaos Emeralds. Tails, everything unlocked. I mean, this alone means I went through the special stages, like... 21 times with the three files. And that's just the beginning. Uh, say the next one. That's just the beginning because there's Sonic and Knuckles, which is even longer because it's two ga games combined together with an extra character. <laughs> Well, they got it right with that, that title screen image.
Kando. Yeah, this is even more insane. Because going for the Super Emeralds means a second row of... <laughs> row of uh, special stages. So we have the 21 from Sonic 3. And these, these files have doubled, so 14. Let's see, we have 14, 28... 30... 42... Yeah, 42. 56. 56 plus 21. Seventy-seven, I think. I've gone through the special stages seventy-seven times, and this isn't even my like. I played this game before, like on the three hundred and sixty. Like these special stages, I've oh my god. Plus Sonic Mania, gotten one hundred percent on all Blue Sphere stages as well. Maybe that's why I haven't returned to the games in such a long time. I'm just so sick of Blue Sphere. And the funny thing is, even with all of this, I've never, I've never beaten Sonic 2. <laughs> I play, I've played through Sonic 3, like 300% files, and this game, even longer, because it's two games in one. Four times, with four, four, four different character combos and whatever, yet I've only made it to the end of the close to the end of Sonic 2 once, and then just quit. Heck, I've beaten Sonic 1 a lot more. Sonic CD 2 is just Sonic 2 I'm not too fond of. Sonic game in history that shows you a reason why you lost emeralds. Oh my god. This little startup. I hope this won't be... Well, either way, it will be entertaining, because... Yeah, I can feel... I can feel the rustiness in, within me here. I said. Alright. I gotta work with the GameCube. Yeah. Just so I'm. Just so I know. Okay. Good old Blue Sphere. How many times have I gone through these stages now? It has to be it. like at least four hundred. Especially with Mania when that came out, just retrying over and over. Cause I beat all the stages and then found out, oh, you can get gold medal. You can get a gold medallion for every single one instead of a silver medallion if you collect all the rings. And then I grinded all of them. And just like this game, I haven't touched Mania in so long either. At least I'm, I don't seem to be rusty here. This is hands down the best special stages in the classic games. I like Sonic CDs too. I haven't played the original games. Unlike Sonic 2, Sonic 1, where 
it does nothing. It just shows you an, a different ending where the emeralds just fly away or something. And Sonic 2, where it's close to impossible to get them without memorizing. God, those special stages are horrible. Oh boy, do I feel slow. Everyone going on about Sonic being all about speed, look how slow he starts off. Like, I'm, I'm honestly shocked. I know there's a way to get up here. Uh... Yeah, and Sonic 2, you don't have a save. Like this game. And you can... When you have over 50 rings, if you jump, you just have... Oh, come on. Oh, cool. That's another thing that, that makes this game just so much better. I feel bad we haven't seen these shields in so long. Only the electric shield uh, returned when it went to 3D. Oh yeah, I have to push this one. What? There we go. Yeah, Sonic 2 is... Everyone goes on about it being, oh, it's the best one and it's perfect and everything. Yet they forget to mention... The unanimously... Hey, 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 I, I wanna go up there. The... Much despised Metropolis Zone. That alone is a huge blemish on the game. Yet everyone forget forgets it for being... Ooh, it's really speedy and just... Everything. And they praise the Super Sonic being introduced, but he's so... Getting into my playstyle with Fire Emblem, I see. We're playing slow here in a game where I'm supposed to go fast. Yeah, screw it. We're gonna go without it. It's just a one up. It just feels like this game got so much pride that the other games didn't. Finally, having Chaos Emblems be fair. Not impossible, not rewarding at all. And you get a second second row of these special stages later on. That are even harder, so if you even if you like if you like Blue Sphere, you get a bit second row. And I like Blue Sphere. You know, every time I start this game, it really feels like I spend the most time at the start, which is special stages. Uh, if I... If I'm not... If I don't make any mistakes, I'll have Super Sonic for... By, um... Uh, Marble Garden. And if I remember where the rings are. Oh yeah, and as for the second row, I might look it up. Because I know you can get Hypersonic already in Mushroom Hill, like the first stage. <laughs> because there's like eight of them there. Uh, the second row is definitely gonna have my rest of this show. Oh, the speed up. It's not a big deal with these early ones. Alright. Yeah, just 
like Metroid Prime, this is one of my ten favorite games. Even if last time I went through it, I had an awful time with the and Knuckles part, like the second half of the game. To the point where I started thinking, maybe my favorite game is Sonic 3 alone. But no. You can't play, you can't... You can't have access to Sonic 3 Knuckles and not go with it. This is two games that were supposed to be one. Combined. I love the shield. I love all three of them. Eh, the bubble is pretty me. It's not a huge concern in the water either. Let's see if we can get a reward here. This is the only post where I know where each of the rewards are. It's pretty much three of them, all uh, perfectly placed. Here? Yes! Uh... Oh! Dang it. I wanted to get an electric shield, but there might not even be one here. I was about to say I was gonna uh, that I was gonna gush a lot about the soundtrack here. What? What happened? Let me see that again. Yes, go back. There we go. The sooner I get them done, the more, the more Super Sonic we get to see. I don't know. <laughs> it would've been nice if you could like speed up on your own by pressing like forward. It's up. Like in the very easy stages to make it even faster, maybe? Yeah, if I went for if I went for a perfect in every one of these stages, we we'd have a lot of uh, failed attempts. If that was a requirement, then this would be on par with Sonic 2. Comes to its difficulty. With the emeralds. I'll be hearing this song. The blue sphere sound of my dreams tonight. <laughs> oh, it's a purple one. I have to ask though. Um, did Knuckles lose the animals or something? Or did he purposely put them in the stages? Because it would be. It would make more sense if he kept them. Because he himself can go. That was awesome. Um, the next. The next one, the final one, in these stages is gonna be underwater, so I gotta keep keep, keep it um, stay low. Yeah, Knuckles can go super. So why did he lose them? Why didn't he keep them? Oh well, he, he his later his later even in this game he's not he's portrayed as. Uh, Brightest of the roster. 
It is funny to see his uh, fails. So. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh come on. Well, either way, I need I need to be near water anyway. So. Oh yeah, the absolute best is when you have the super form, either super form, and pick up um, an electric shield because you still have the access to. Oh come on, you can't tempt me like that. Please have a spring here. Uh... <laughs> Ow. Yeah, you keep the... Oh, I think it's here. You keep the moment, like the... Magnetism with the rings. So you're flying around a super with rings coming... Like, attracted to you, which makes it even better. Let's hope I know where most of Hydro City are. Speaking of Hydro City, Act 2's music is one of the best songs in this series. And this series is known for having awesome music. Oh, I love Hydro City's Act 2 song. This soundtrack is. Not so much in Knuckles part, but damn, the Sonic 3 portion is fire. Pretty sure we know the man to thank for that. This MJ was involved in this. That's a well-known fact nowadays, so. Like in some songs, you can definitely tell there's um, a bit of Michael Jackson. I'm pretty sure Carnival, Carnival Night is the best example. Cool. I'm already getting used to the momentum. That's a huge. That's a huge positive. Like, man. Say what you want about Sonic lately, or even since that one game. But he started off strong. I guess succeeded in the goal for a reason. Oh yeah, these! Oh, I like the slot machine one the most. Again! You see that one more in Sonic 3. They're just... I really like the unique things in Sonic 3. That's why I used to think... Maybe... maybe... I prefer Sonic 3 alone, as combining the two, but... Oh. <laughs> you mean the orbs here? Oh, you d Well, it's funny that you said that, because I'm pretty sure you don't know about the second Super form for Sonic. Now that... That is... Epilepsy warning. What up? No! Eh. Special stages have been messy. Ooh, thank you. Let's see how many one-ups I'll have. No! By the end of the game. Like, they haven't been able to get the special stages done up until this game, I feel. And they introduced, like, minigame stages as well. Like the one I just played. And all three of them are great. That is loud. Gonna, 
It sounds like the game is having a hard time. Yeah, just keep running and you'll be fine. Oh my god, that's so loud. Not exactly loud and loud loud, it just it sounds very loud. Good old Robonic. It's a good thing I... Okay, got out. Thank you, Tails. Oh yeah, this boss theme is fire. Gotta be careful when he goes behind the waterfall. So I don't dash into nothing. Come here. Yeah. There's actually something funny you can do here. You can, uh... Take away the pleasure from Knuckles. Here. Nice try. Yeah, keep chuckling. Chuckling, I mean. Your song is famous for one line, but you don't chuckle. Lies. <laughs> oh yeah, this part here. Because everyone loved this in Sonic 2, where it's even, even more ridiculous. Just, just one point, even tighter. We just, I know it's in Hilltop. I've never beaten Sonic 2, but I've seen play people beat it, like they play the game so much that I know the game pretty much inside and out. But I don't enjoy playing it myself. That's pretty embarrassing. Where are these guys? Uh. Well, I seem to have a, have a problem here, because I I don't exactly remember where the special stages are in the first half. For Act 1. Oh yeah, the classic... Good ol' terrifying drowning team. You know, people people have ragged on um, water levels in these games, mostly from Sonic One, for obvious reasons. But this this is not just this is not just the best. This is not just the best um, water stage from the classic games. It is probably top three for me. Yes, you spend time on the water, but it's not enough to make it, like, too much. It honestly focuses way too little on water, I feel. Nah. But instead of, instead of water, we get this. Oh, come on. We get speed parts, where you actually get to run on the water. God damn it! Why? Did I go too fast? Is that why? Oh, great. What?! <laughs> Maybe I should make the screen bigger. Oh my lord. Why? What is up with you today? There we go, running on water while well, I'm in a ball now. So I can't show it off. Where is the special stages here? Because I have no- it, I, My mind is completely blank. I don't know. I don't remember at all. That is not good. <laughs> well, at least I know Marble Garden has quite a bit of number of I'm pretty sure he'll come back when I reminisce on Wow Tails, you got up here through the platform there. <laughs> Oh yeah! 
and it's actually not a huge deal having Tails around because he doesn't ruin your time in special stages. Because he's literally... He's what's right behind Sonic in the special... Oh no, he's gonna drown. Come on, Tails. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, in Sonic 2, there's a delay to Tails. Like, he moves, like, a second after you move. And in special stages where you need to avoid bombs and collect a tight sum of rings, that ain't good. Stages themselves gonna get even even worse. Okay, this first half is giving justice to the water theme, but the second one is just so completely the opposite, and that makes it even better. Oh 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 oh! Yes yes yes! Thank God I don't despawn. God dang it! Back we back in we go. I don't remember this color scheme. Yeah, <sighs> there is one special stage that's that has me worried, and it's the one that everyone sees as the hardest one. Because there's a point where you need to. Like, you bounce into a whole tight area with red orbs around. And then you hit uh, one of these that make you go backwards. Yeah, you have to, like, go backwards and... Ugh. With red orbs around. Pretty much... You don't... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wait on it because it's not easy to explain. No. Um, there we are. That's not all. Uh, is it? No. Where? <laughs> I'm starting to get worried now because I don't want to fail the first row. I went there. Here? Where? Oh! This is, a, this is an odd placement. Oh god, I'm... Yeah, the speed is gonna act... I'm not used to the speed. Because it goes faster and faster the more time you spend. Just be three because I remember. Oh wow! Tails is enjoying the spring. I see. <laughs> I love AI like that. Yeah, this is the end of the stage, so. Oh, I'm so hyped to see, hear the Act 2 music. Oh my god, Tails! Oh, he hurt him. If he would have kept doing that, then... Yeah, the Insta Shield is an Insta Shield, so... It's time for this. Thank you, Tails. Oh my god, that's perfect. No! Well, that didn't take much. Now we get to one of the best songs in the series, in the game, especially. Like, Active One is good and all, but this song trumps it. It's definitely an improvement. Oh yeah, there's something else that's new to this game. Different songs for Act. 
Man, did they pull it off well. Oh, I wanna get a music, damn it. <laughs> Is it getting faster? I kinda wanted to wait now. Ah, yes, the first speed point. You know, people praise Sonic, Sonic 2 for its speed. Well, look at this right here. What do they have these things that just speed you up? Yes, Chemical Plant is cool and all, but... I mean, you're, you're running on the metallic platforms. Here, you're literally, like, getting speed boost to run on water. And you, like, fly around and just get crazy air like that in there? I think, actually... Is it here? It might be below me. Let's see what tails first. How do I get him to fly now? I think I can. Oh, I know these platforms were... Never mind. I think it's later on in this case. Oh, I had to hold up too? I thought it was just... I thought it was just, um... Thanks for letting me know. Let's try it. Fly, dang it! What was that black flash there? I'm pressing everything. I'm Eh, it's not a must. Oh, that was perfect. I love these guys here. They look so silly. There are droplets here? I never knew that. That's so cool. God, this song. Look, it even goes further with it. Just and you fly up in the air like that. Oh, it's awesome. I know for a fact what the two special suits are here. Um, so if I don't miss them, I'll be able to get get Super Sonic before I finish the stage. I love those corkscrew. Here it is. This is, yeah. I knew it. Those platforms were here. Yeah, I don't know either. I remember using him too. I like how you can do this stage two ways either getting the blue orbs, like those four there at once, or leaving them here. It's safer to leave them here. Like, take half of them, so you can move forward without having to make a crazy jump in between. And you know where you've been, so you can hunt down the ones you haven't touched. Okay. Yeah, you just you just get the ones second halves, and then when uh, all of them are gone, you just do it again. Wow, there are a lot of them. That's where I started, I think. 
It takes longer, but it's safer. So you can either you can get stuck if you do it the other way. Alright, this way. Two more. One more, and it's right there. <laughs> one mo. And it's the cyan one, I see. I'm pretty sure that's the one that was... That wasn't the Sonic one. Funny, funny enough, it's the first one you get in Sonic 2, so it's the newest one you get first. Oh, this part. <laughs> yeah, unlike Mega Man... Oh my god, I'm sorry, Tails. Unlike Mega Man, Sonic can actually take a hit into Spikes. Not in Sonic 1 if he's, like, on top of Spikes, because he gets hit, and then gets hit again. He doesn't care about invincibility frames, he die. Sonic has that over Mega Man. And that's pretty important. I've never actually... Oh, I see. I just have to spin that shit. Now, there's no way I've never gotten that in this villain. Must be misremembering it. I think this is... Yeah, this is looking where the final ring is. Cool, I'll have Super Sonic for the boss. Wait, I'm not there yet. No. Okay, here it is. I think. Yeah, I remember the... I don't want to go too far now. Damn you! You took my Super Sonic away from me! Is it here? Yeah, this this uh, special ring is definitely... Use uh, Tails for... I like these little flying um, shark missiles or submarines. They make sense in water, not above the water. I might be able to get enough. Oh, I love this right here. You just you just uh, bounce on this and you keep the momentum. Speaking of which, oh, I lost the momentum. Time to go back because I I missed that one. This was going so fast that the ring didn't register or something. Well, Labyrinth Zone is all about being slow. There's so many ways you can build up speed in this stage. Yeah, this is where the last one is. Oh come on! I have to be like. Right at the top. There we go. Super Seneca time. If I don't miss this one, I'm obviously. This one's pretty weird. Pretty confusing. Uh... It is pretty annoying when you're close to red orbs and then you just speed up. Okay, this time I'm gonna do that. Oh, okay, okay. Let's not let's not be let's not be too afraid. All these red orbs are giving me... Making me worried, man. Uh... Where are the rest, then? I think they're... I think they're all in the same place, actually. But where? Here we go. Oh yeah, these ones. I have a lot of them. Oh my god. Oh, that's not good. I'm getting really fast now. 
track record, like my um, pattern of getting supersonic before the boss in this stage. That chain hasn't broken yet, even with years away. I still want to get more rings, though. So. Damn it. That could have crushed me. up to the same section. Well, this is right for the boss. Yeah, that is the way to the boss. I want... I want to... I want to see Super Sonic, dang it. Uh, there we have more rings. Is that it? Oh, come on. I don't think there are more rings in this section. Unless there's... over here. It's real close. Yeah, because I can't get back up. Come on, you can't just... Oh, I hate that enemy now. That was my fault because I held to the left as I expected to. There we go. Please have a hidden room here or something. Ah! Oh, Tails is gonna drop. I'm sorry, bro. Good thing he's invincible. Nothing can kill him. Thanks he kill me, but not him. He should be the star of the show. Damn it. You know what? Get a boost from this. He's about to drop again. I promise to be out of here soon. Gosh darn it! I don't want to climb through that way either again. Just get up there. Yes. No! No! Oh my god, the water physics is really... Please. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I missed an extra life. I take that over not having... I'm running out of time too. You know, I just remember there is a l one more checkpoint. I think at least. Yeah, right right after here. So I could have gotten the special stage from this is checkpoint. Not rules. Oh well. Why would there be a was there a checkpoint? Oh my god, tails. There are rings here too. Oh wait, this is this is my favorite one right here. Because it's so simple. And it's very rewarding. It's such a simple, fun one. I don't even need that, because I didn't really need the first one I needed. <gasps> electric shield, but I'm gonna lose it as soon as I- Ow! Yeah, if you get the electric shield, you'll lose it instantly. I think I got the electric shield, and that's why I don't have a shield now. The one drawback to having supersonic, you get to listen to this repetitive, annoying song. At least it's not as ear grating as the one in Sonic 3. That is one good thing that they changed from Sonic 3. Like most of the things they changed, the biggest one is the final boss of Sonic 3. They took that out. On. I love the power of the Now this stage right here 
is going to be very good with Super... Wow, Tails. Keep doing it. <laughs> That's why we love you. Hey, he's still doing it! Oh yeah, that is true. The only way for Sonic to survive underwater is being hyper. Yeah, it's really good to have Super Sonic by this stage. Because this 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 stage right here is known for having an insane amount of rings. I already have enough for Super Sonic. Yeah, let's just activate it before I start. The music in this stage is fine. Not the best. Hey! I'll get you. Super Sonic is... He is very hard to control at high speeds. Like we're jumping. My defense is that a special stage is hidden that way. Oh, beautiful. Now I'm fine with dying. Yeah, the special stages uh, give you... Is there something up there? Oh, I can't check now. Yeah, special stage rings, when you have all of them, just give you 50 rings, which is awesome. I can't wait to have Super Sonic with uh, um, well, the um, electric shield later on. Yeah, Super Sonic is just super hard to control at times. But his overpoweredness makes up for it. Like, when you're Super Sonic, nothing can kill you except pits, crush. That's it! Oh yeah, I like how these guys, they are they are hiding as spikes, but the spikes themselves are, for some reason, bouncy. Yeah, like I said, many rings in this stage. <laughs> I don't want to get crushed. I probably, probably can't get crushed because I definitely would have been crushed. It's pretty stupid how he has green eyes with his super form. But when he like... Yeah, when he stops like... Goes back to his original sprite by stopping. He has his black eyes back. And what's with this... What's with Sonic having... Green eyes in this game when he's super... But then getting green eyes by default, Sonic Adventure, and then red eyes was- I mean, red eyes is definitely cooler. Look at this! I can just scale this- Oh, I love it. This makes me dislike Sonic 2 even more, because you're, I, so many people are missing out of, on this. Due to no saving, and again, the stages are horrible. Well, at least the phone version. That itself sucks, that the best version of Sonic 2 is on the phone. And Sonic 3 didn't get a remake, because I guess the music... Wow! Wanna know a way to make this game ten times better? Um, having the ability to go super, keeping the music, maybe speeding it up. That would make this game even more awesome. I know there's a ring here. Oh my god, I'm almost at 200 now. <laughs> they did? Oh, 
I know I recently found out that there's a PC port of um, Sonic 3 that has like unique music for the second half of the stages in this game. And that's what's pretty funny because it's very. very MIDI music, I have to say. Oh my god! Gimme! Gimme! No! Oh, I have to lay. I have to lay it. I really like these church. They remind me of. Sh like, this area reminds me of church. Um, windows. Like, the colorful ones. I really like the stage, looks wise. <laughs> okay, nothing good here. I am already sick of this loop. No joke. If I could change one thing about this game, it would be remove this loop and replace it with speed and sped up music, like the running shoes. Because the rest is all good. Meanwhile, Sonic 2 and Sonic 1 and Sonic CD. Over Sonic 2, I would definitely alter some level design and enemy placement. Sonic 1, Labyrinth Zone. Uh, Sonic CD. Sonic CD is pretty fine. I don't. I don't. I don't know why Sonic CD has a track record of the best Sonic game, Sonic game of them all. Where did that come from? In a way, like I've heard it as such a just a huge pot fan opinion. Act 2's music is always okay. Never mind. I like the beginning, but not this part. Alright, that works. The only song in this game that is barely noticeable with the Act 1 and 2 is the next stage. Hey, they're using the same idea for the boss. I like that though. I mean, this. this. Uh, oh, aggressive. I like how this stage is pretty much crumbling thanks to Robotnik. Oh, come on. Yeah, I love the bass like sound, but not this high pitched. It's a mixed song for me because I prefer. I like this part too, though. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I love this beginning here. That was beat by a spike ball. Wow, this background. I love the I love the bushy just it almost looks like I don't know, detailed fire. I love that. That is so cool. I've never noticed that. Yeah, because most of the stage, your stage background is the upper part. So you don't really see the bottom part much. Is there a way to defeat him? You can't damage him, so I wonder if there's a way. Pretty sure he'll come back at the end of the card. Okay, let's actually. No, 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 no. Okay, let's actually do this. I hope there's something good here. A special stage ring would be perfect here. Cause... What? Where am I going? <laughs> I've never gone this way, I think. Uh... Where am I? <laughs> I 
guess this is a uh, spinner section. No! Okay, I should be fine if I go here. <gasps> oh, I don't have enough rings, so fine. Man, I used to think that this song is one of the weaker ones from the game. But I just love that part. I am discovering things I've never seen in this game here. Is more? Okay, now I'm going back to... All that was just... Yeah, now I'm back on the main path. Uh... Man... I'm so conflicted, the music is so awesome. That... No, 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 no. The reward is so awesome. Man, this, this listening to it suck. Let's spin and win into the wall. <laughs> I love how you can just... Yeah, I can just do that. I had so much trouble with it last time. Died to it. No big deal with Super Sonic. I think... No. Hey! I'm pretty sure I can... Maybe. No. I really want to find an electric shield. That make my day. Oh, beautiful. I definitely take that. Oh my god. Oh, Tails. Your AI is... Get that! Oh my god, is that what I- Woohoohoo! Oh, for this stage especially, yeah, the game became ten times cooler now. Do I even need this? <laughs> oh my god. How can people think Sonic 2 is Sorry, but I just don't see it. I mean, ever since Mania released, that's been seen as best Sonic game period lately. Ever? No, if I go into that, I lose Super Sonic, and with the shield, because you need Super Sonic before the shield to get the. Um, homing for rings. I think this is... Why is this one here, then? Alright. Careful platforming with Supersonic. No big deal. Well, Tails died. Again. How did they think this was a good, good idea? I didn't even need to do that. Was it? Oh. I can't believe my biggest complaint about this game is the super forest music. There's no stage in this game that I actively dislike, unlike the last games. Like, Sonic 1 has Labyrinth Zone. That's pretty much it, because I like Marble Zone. I'm one of the few people that really like Marble Zone. Oh, this is, this is ha having me worried, because I might run out of ranks before if that happens, I'm not gonna have to. Oh, thank god. Give me rings. <gasps> oh, I already have it. Uh, that one always has me worried. 
we have to square where the stage comes. I need to be quick here, but shouldn't be a big deal with the speed I have now. No rings though. gonna end up good. I'm gonna be so vulnerable. Is it here? Oh, come on! How do I get out of here, though? How do I get out of here? Oh. I don't need an electric shield. Help the boss. Rings! Are you... you're up... you dare? Okay. I'm vulnerable now. Don't you dare. I'm really looking forward to the next stage. I love the music. I'm just the vibe of it. No! Oh, this might be a vi This might become... Yeah, this might become... I love that sound effect. Might be a bad uh... <laughs> uh I'm worried now. I don't wanna go for it. Um I'd rather I'd rather when he goes from side to side. Oh, this was one hit away. Oh, awesome, Tails. You've actually grabbed me. Why? How does Tails have infinite flight here, yet nowhere else in the game? Eh, it's a game. Boss fight. This game has really good world building, as it shows you going from stage to stage. Mania added that with an update. I mean, I guess you can see Sonic 3 and Mobiles being an update. <laughs> Probably the earliest example of a patch for a game. Just kind of connecting those two. Or like DLC, maybe. I don't know. It was ahead of its time. I'm honestly surprised not more games were handled like this. Imagine if, like, imagine if, like, a classic Mega Man game had something like the lock-on here. Oh, that would be sick. Hey! I noticed something good there. I saw it. I love the visuals of this stage. So pretty. And the music is awesome. That part is... That part right there is the most Michael Jackson part of the soundtrack, I feel. He might not have been happy with how this music time turned out, but man. He's in the minority when it comes to this. to the soundtrack of this game. I think it's just because he didn't expect it to end up so Genesis. Probably didn't even know what a Genesis game usually sounds like, so I'm guessing that's why, because the music is just so well made here. Just so likable. Ow! Damn you! Can I, like. Oh, I can do it. Go away! Is this platform. Oh, it's a Sonic 2 moment, but the. It's a Sonic 2 Met Metropolis gear moment. Or not. Not moment. But unlike Sonic 2, I can get through here another way. Without leaving the screen and waiting for it. <sighs> if I get to Sonic 2, I'm gonna complain a lot about it. <laughs> it's pretty much obvious how I talk about it. 
love how you can, like, time going up from a ramp like this, and it goes to the side. Why not? I think this is a slot machine. Alright, let's see how lucky you Hopefully I won't lose, lose uh, what I've gained. I wonder what my highest ever leaving the stage with the highest rings is. It has to be like over 300 maybe. Man! Oh, Gabling's been, been in the series since Sonic 2. It's a stage literally made for that. I prefer it being like... That's cool. A little hatch open. Hey, that's a cool enemy. Oh yeah, the barrel. The barrel that everyone is a death trap. I'm I'm just I'm just gonna wait till I get to the part. I have so many people stuck. The worst part is, I frequently get time over in this stage, like, most people get time over in the second half, and that's where the barrel is. I wanna touch this balloons. Ow. Fine, I'll go forward then. I was hoping it would be a special ring there. I love that sound effect and just... Hatch letting you out. How can you not love this stage? This is. Not gonna lie, Sonic 3 had the most balanced stages, I feel. Because all of them are really, really enjoyable. Yeah, Sonic 1 has Labyrinth, Brain Scrap, Marble to some people, not to me. Uh, Sonic 2 has Oil Ocean can be messy, Aquatic Ruin can be messy, Metropolis is definitely messy. Uh, Sonic CD has Workbench. Yeah, Workbench. And the final level, Metallic Madness. Even Sonic and Knuckles has uh, Sandopolis, which is... To many, I don't know if I'm, I'm with the majority, but most people see Sandopolis as the worst sound, mostly because of the Act 2. Yeah, it has that, and... I can't even think of another one bad. That's how good Sonic 3 and Knuckles... Why not? I mean, this is... this stage just, uh, looks like carnival. This stage does resemble casinos of night, so... Why not? Let's make it a, a gambling stage. Why am I having such a hard time getting back into the middle? I used to have such an easy time with that, just... I literally got out of the spinning machine, just... directly going... Oh my god! Slows down. Oh my god, Tails. And then you're on the floor. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was just saying, Carnival Night is the one where it's hardest to notice the difference between Acts 1 and 2. They're very similar. I think this one is slightly slower. Where is- why is there a whole city like this in the background from Angel Island? When looking at it, there's not, no sight of the city. <laughs> why would Knuckles, being the sole, like, inhabitant- he's probably not. But I doubt there's like a c civilization anywhere. I built a huge carnival city. Uh, oh, I see. No, I'm done gambling. <laughs> it's the same. Oh, fine. <laughs> I might be getting. I might be getting a gambling problem here. Why do you not? Yeah, this is how I always do it. Better than three robotics. He may be called Eggman nowadays, but Robotnik is fun to say. It's a fun name to. Hey! <laughs> you get that ma that much? Like a hundred? I expect a little five hundred fifty. Yeah, he's been known. He's been known as Eggman for so long now. I don't know. I don't care. He's called Robotnik back in this age, and I like saying his name more than Eggman. So. It's just so funny. To, it's such an enjoyable name to say out loud. Robotnik. Alright, as soon as his shield goes, I'm going super. There are a lot of these rooms here. One, three. Oh, something else. Let's go up here. I would never be able to make love with something like this because there's just. Oh my god. Like, look at Mario. Oh, it's just a straight line with blocks. This is. This is high... this is just brown. Eight clients everywhere, just... I mean, there are like three sections going through the whole stage, like... Oh my god, it's... This takes a lot more. And I'm not hating on Mario for it. Its simplicity is its charm. That's why it's such a... Welcoming series. More welcome than this, that's for sure. But I prefer this, so. Early days, I'm definitely on the Sonic side. I might be here on Sonic side because of my time with this series. With Mario. I don't know. I haven't really been a huge. What? Oh. Why can't I get to. I was about to say, this stage already at, at the boss, I remember it, like I said, this is a stage where most people get a time over at. And reaching the end in two minutes, you know, almost, oh my god. section. And it goes away. You stole my bubble, but I don't need bubbles because I'm in a bubble. Ow! Find them. I'm not gonna get crushed. Almost. Wow, I'm already nearing the end. It feels like it, but I'm not sure. 
Why are the why are the balloons there? There's no reward over there. Oh my god, there's a black balloon there that you can barely see. <sighs> When we get to the barrel, that's when I know we're close. You know, surprisingly... What killed me there? Chuckles, you had your fun. You're gonna have your fun for another six stages. I think. It should be six stages. No, probably seven. There we go. Never mind. I want that bubble shield, dang it. God, if only my partner could fly. I'll command. I need to go to the bathroom a bit. I might have to need. I might need to go now. Dang. All right. I'll be back in like. Should be three, four minutes. Oh dang it, I can't I can't have the music playing. Well fine, I'll go back to X then. Wow, that is very low volume. That man Sonic Mega Collection is loud. Cause I can barely hear it now. I'll be back in a sec. Four minutes.
Nemo jumped up and stole my spot. He's sitting next to me because of that. <laughs> Nemo! All he does is breathing. The music is so low that I can't tell when it's... Oh, I see the time now. <sighs> Let's just stop it and get back into it. Looks like his head is a fountain, like the top of a fountain. Aww. No. Brown. What is... Oh, oh, that's really cool. If they don't have one connected, they just switch spawns. They're still dangerous in other words. Nemo is... Aww, never mind, he laid down. Hey, Dad. He went to his own, his uh, side of the couch. Just lay down. Oh, this is great. What did I die to last time? I guess I got crushed by the something. Oh, I forgot to mention. I completely forgot about it, but... The, the next stage? The song from that one is... A legendary. Like, it is... Probably the most loved song from these early Sonic games. No, that's probably... Well, obviously Green Hell and Chemical Plant. It is an amazing song, though. But so many love that stage only for the music. Definitely the most loved song from the game. Easily. Yeah, it was here I got crushed. It doesn't even go up and down. Why? Why did I get crushed? Was it here? I guess it was here. Yeah, I get why, but why... I get why he dies from crush deaths, because... Anything? Thank you. This song really sucks, but I don't care because the reward is also... And power's back on. Oh yeah, there's one part here where you can, where you need to like. Oh, it's it's my favorite one, so why not? This one is way more common than Sonic 3. Again, another unique thing I prefer with Sonic 3. I think it's because the electric one. No, I think this was the only mini game. Checkpoint mini game in Sonic 3, so you got this one all the time. I don't know, I just love the simplicity and concept of this one the most. Eh, I haven't had a fire shield in a while, so why not? Let's mix it up. Nemo! Yeah. Licking under his paw. No wonder he was. He was looking hurt when we walked earlier because he's. Uh, 
I understand him. It's pretty much how humans like to itch when it itches. Oh, hey! Well, I'll get back to that. This room right here... This room right here has had so many people stuck. Just not knowing what how to get past this barrel. Because it locks you in here, and you can't make progress unless you figure it out. It was so bad that the main developer of this game... Like, personally apologized for it. Yeah, it took forever. You have to get going to get it moving. So even if you do the right thing, it takes a bit to realize that you're making progress. You just go up and down. Which is pretty cryptic, I have to add. I mean... What about those barrels says, Oh, you go up and down by pressing up and down. It makes sense, but it's far from the first... First, um... Uh, solution you think of. When am I gonna get to that fun part where I can get a reward for here maybe? Yeah it is here. Yeah you have to like Aww There's a good reward if you your quick thinking there. I know it's coming. But I failed it. I like that. I already have enough. Okay, I'm going a little bit overboard now. What did that even do? Oh, I guess it just switched. Now that I think about it, does Knuckles even appear in Ice Cap? I don't think so. That might be the only stage in the game where he doesn't appear. Well, until you get to fight him. Wait, he doesn't appear in Lava Reef or not. Yeah, he's pretty much gone in the Sonic and Knuckles hat. Oh, come on, my ring bonus! I don't care. <laughs> yes, I said. Oh yeah, I like how this one, this transition, like, time has stopped. The timer isn't going down for obvious reasons. This one lets you make your way to the other stage by yourself. Just get into the cannon. And it shoots for you, I think. That was a little slow. Yeah, this song right here is just Genesis Masterpiece. Like, you can already tell at the beginning that it's fire. <sighs> I always do nothing in that part. Oh yeah, another great thing about the stage is... Um, you get ri rings. If you don't get hit by anything for this first part, you get rings. Enough rings to go super. I missed a special ring. No biggie. Oh, never mind. There couldn't be a special ring there because there's one here. Never mind, I failed. There we go. Yeah, the good thing about this here is because an electric shield is given to you later on. Like, literally given to you. You just have to go left. I think it should be over here. Yeah, it's right here. You just bounce up, go here, wreck the eyes, and if you're super, ranks are attracted to you while you're super, which is awesome. This part right here sucks, though. I have to admit, because it is so easy to mess up the first time, first or second time you do this, until you realize 
Oh, just spin dash and just... Yeah, because it's so easy to just calculate here. It wasn't as long as I thought. I guess there might be a second part. Oh, yeah! There's another cool thing I want to show off. One of the more fun glitches. It should be here real soon. The perfect uh, way to show it off. How it works. I don't love getting electric shield here. Yeah, right here. So you push this one, get on top, crouch, and let the camera go like this. You go down. <laughs> and that's not all. This is even more insane. If you do it like this. Not the best, best spot to do this. Okay, you do this here. You crouch down, wait for a camera to go, let go, and then jump. I don't want to spin dash, damn it. Yeah, like this. And you can warp around the stage. <laughs> you can get into Knuckles' section of this, this stage, because he has his own section. This game is incredible for just having Knuckles' own section of the stages, along with the ones for the other two characters. Yeah, because this is the wall that Knuckles breaks to get to his section. That is insane. Like, they've designed, like, so many stages that are so huge, so many pathways, and it still connects. Is that... is my audio glitching out? Because that sounds like... Ah! Dang it. Well, I guess this part still is a pain. It almost sounds like whistling at points. I'm guessing... I'm guessing... OBS is tired of hearing this song, so they're adding a little whistling to it or something. I don't know, that's a bad joke. God damn it. I'm losing my rings, dang it! Okay, I hate this part now again. I see why I hated it the first time, because... Ugh. Oh. Thank you. You know, I'm kind of happy that I don't have Super Sonic anymore, because this song is... Like I said, fire. And this background, wow. This game do be pretty. I think I prefer Act 2's music many, even more. It's more quieter, just more somber. I'm already done with this act. Let's hope I don't get hit by... or die to this boss. That was the boss in this game, though. Not too bad. I really like this one. I like this guy. Ice cube shield. No! Oh, this is gonna be awful. Why am I hearing the Act 2 music in Act 1? I'm not done with this stage yet. Is it because the game expects you to not die to that guy? So the developers didn't really... Whatever. We got a sneak peek, or sneak lesson, I guess, too. Alright, I have to use effort here now. Or you can use some of those invisibility frames, that works too. <laughs> the tails helps. 
That looked like it was the same pattern as last time, that's good to know. Ow! My ring fell through the floor! <sighs> I'm impatient. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't really showed off the insta-shield. It's pretty much invincibility for a split second, so you can do more. Why? This is like one of the easiest mini bosses to I really like this shield. I think the reason why I haven't used it much is um I've been having other shields. I like how this adds to the Thing with shields in this game. Yeah, it's the same pattern. It really helps you if you're good, good with it, because you can like you can like take out enemies that usually hurt you very easily. Like you have to. They hurt you if you jump on them, but if you time it right, you can defeat them without having to wait for them to be vulnerable. Okay, now the music makes sense. That's the wrong way, Tails. As I said, I might like this version even more. This is more us. Awesome. Oh no. Oh no. You can't even hurt me. I love that. Fire. Protects you from fire, water keeps you underwater without drowning. I love this part of the song. Yeah, it's official. I like this version of the song. God damn it, I keep forgetting that I lose the awesome music in this game. Yes. I think I saw an electric shield up there, and I, I need it. Oh, it was a spring. Which might lead to an electric shield. Who knows? Eh. This is one of the probably the shortest stage in the game. Because Act 1 is short. Pretty much almost done with Act 2. You know, with Carnival Night being possibly the longest, no, Sandopolis is the longest. Yeah, I should be at the boss soon. And I want to go up there, so. Let's start over. Gosh darn it. Fine. <sighs> Man. I was right back. No. I can go back for a reason. Are you... you're kidding me. <sighs> Fine. Oh yeah. The next stage might be my favorite one in the game. 
and the music is... Yeah, as I said, the stages are very short. The music is not as awesome as the stage, but it's still awesome. Yeah, I love the next song. As I said, it's probably my favorite one. Like, Sonic 3 Half is just so great with the stages. Like, I have a hard time believing people think... Like, how people prefer Sonic & Knuckles part, because it has fewer stages. And you don't even get to save with that game. Okay, I'm gonna go get some... A refill. The song in the stage is just so good that I started singing it just while getting a refill. <sighs> you can probably hear it. It's just weird, like. Sounds like someone saying go. But as to the song, it gives us charm. Oh wow! I don't want to go super though. I hope I get a shield. So I don't have to be worried. I should have gone super, but I want to hear the song. Dang it! Oh yeah, you're right. Another thing that's great about the stage is it shows Robotnik's plan in this game to rebuild his Death Star replica. Yeah, he built he built the uh, Death Egg in Sonic 2. It came crashing down after Sonic 2 landed on the island, and he's trying to rebuild it. Those you can go into those and go like past it. So. Why are there frogs in this stage? Oh, we're gonna hear the speed remix of this song now. This is what I wished the super form did instead of. No, that's the Sonic 3 song. I really like how this is sort of like... I mean, this feels like medievalish cathedral. But it's a it's a launch base. It's literally built for constructing this... Like... It's obvious that these buildings were here before, like some ruins or something. Why did I call him Eggman when I'm sitting in Robotnik's? When Robotnik's been working, because that in the background you can tell is newly built. The stage itself, like... Oh, I love that. That's, that's like combining technology and just ancient buildings, which is... 
that's what they wanted to go with. Sonic and uh, Robotnik. That's why the stages in Sonic 1, they start off very nature-y, and then become more into, like, mechanical. God damn, calm down, music. I'm not even going that fast. I don't have to go this hard. Oh, it just stops. Uh, I'd rather not. No. <laughs> I love that. You can, I, if you're, if you're not, like, going straight into it, you can actually decide if you want to keep shield and find another one. Like, and sometimes it's hard to avoid. Very close. Oh yeah. No scams. Just gonna go here. My tails. Okay. My tails. My tails. My tails. My tails. <laughs> My part. Hi, Tails. Hi, Tails. I'm pretty sure I came from here. Yeah, this is this is the one I just never mind. Oh yeah, these cannons are awesome too. Hey there. Shouldn't you be off getting ready to take off? Who it is? Where were you in Ice Cap? This is the one stage where you finally get to see Knuckles make a mistake and get payback. Are those platforms just okay? They didn't. Out of rings. Oh god damn, I need to let him go down a bit. I have 10 seconds. One great thing about Tails being able to be number. become. like, plays Tails. being able to um, play as Tails with a second player controller. He can help you with bosses because he's invincible. Stay out of range and Tails will handle it. Sadly, I have him as an AI, so I have to take care of myself. Let's go down here. Are those canyons? Obviously, fire shield. Gone. Because of water. Is this. There's like a oh my god! There's like a water section half the stages. No, four of the stages because no, five of the stages. It's only Marble Garden that doesn't have underwater. Oh my god! Well, that explains why Hydra City doesn't really focus on water. Can you? Whoa, I became black there. Almost looked like Shadow for a second. Uh, shadow might be an obvious, obviously based on Sonic's design. Man, this character is much more appealing and just awesome, which is interesting and much. 
Like, his reason for being there is obvious. Just edgy. Edgy rival. They just pulled off Shadow's character so well. Hell! Even in Sonic 06, the game that almost killed the series, Shadow was the only character in the game that was, like... I think he was the only character that was better than the last game, because the last game was all about him, and it kind of ruined his character in some ways. Yeah, Shadow was awesome in Sonic 06. It didn't really make sense for... Her. Oh, I see. Because I killed that guy, the reward is locked. Like, at least I have a way forward now. I really like that. That adds to the elevator. Or... Yeah, from the last act. I love, I love how Sonic just stands like this when he comes out. He's not even worried about the ledge. What is that laser for? Let's actually find out. I guess it's just to work for the look. If I can get enough rings, that would be awesome because there's a cutscene part. It's not really a cutscene, but event part, I guess. So you fight a boss, then you go behind the boss where you, after you defeat him. Get on uh, the thing Robotnik flies around it. Run into Knuckles again. He falls down because Karma for, for, for once. Oh, I really don't like this one when you're a super. Because you're supposed to, like, you're supposed to go here and then, yeah. I don't have time for this. Out of rings. If you have a crazy amount of rings, like over 60 for the boss, you're gonna head in there with being able to be super. For... Because in Sonic 3 alone, you fight three bosses in a row. Here, they took out the final boss of Sonic 3, which is. The final boss of Sonic 3 is awesome. Which really sucks that they took him out of this one. Probably the, we the worst. I'd love to get a huge sum of rings before the boss. Please don't get robotics. Alright. I almost have enough to transform again. No! No! I gotta start over. <sighs> I gotta build up my rings again. Damn you. Ah, uh, you're wasting my time. I don't have time for this. I really want. I was about to say, if he would take my rings again, I wouldn't have any of it. So it wouldn't be meaningless. I don't like this. I want I want at least 50. Please give me 50. Oh, it really sucks when you're. Yeah, because it's so easy to get back into it, but if you mess up and go all around the stage, it's really hard. I think that's what was that was the point. Uh Are you? I've gotten Robotnik, Tails, and then nothing. Here. 
Why? I just want 42. I have another go. This is gonna end up with three robotics again. I knew it! isn't that big a deal. I can cheese it pretty weak easily. Yeah, because you just hold right here and jump. What? It can be launched from above? Oh my god. We'll have one ring at least. Sorry, Tails. It's, it's, there's only one seed. Yeah, there is fire. Well, he's lucky there's water below. Alright, we're coming up to the finale of Sonic 3 alone. Without the final boss. <sighs> it really sucks because boss music, final boss music, you do hear it for the final boss of Sonic and Knuckles at least. But it's just. It's been cemented as the big arm boss team, like the final boss for this game, for a reason. Because it's... everyone remembers that song for... Tails! Get the ring! Oh. We're gonna have to watch the cutscene again. Why is Big Arm not here? Yeah, you get to fight Big Arm here. An awesome boss that really looks threatening. Even the sky goes dark and it's just ominous music and it's awesome. The Big Arm fun. The final boss scene is one. It's definitely top three. It is incredible. We'll hear it much later on. How did the... How did the Ed Death Egg go from... So close in the background to so far away? Selection of colors. Yeah, this is the second robot. Harder. Well, some of them are harder. Some are even easier. There's definitely some that are much harder. 
If you're playing as Tails for this and get all the Chaos Emeralds, it doesn't give you a super form, so you have to do get the Hyper Emeralds to get Super Tails, and Super Tails is easily the most broken of the three. Because he has like he has super flickies, which are birds that just home in on enemies. Like there are five of them, and they just continuously home in on them. Like imagine the Mega Man 9 uh homing missile. No, that's Why did I how could I forget my Hornet Chaser? How could I forget the name of my favorite weapon? Yeah, the Hornet Chaser, but... The bees fly around you at all times, like five of them. And as soon as an enemy gets on screen, they go after them, and it kills them in one hit. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, it is... Having to go through Sonic 3 alone, getting the uh, Chaos Emeralds with Tails without getting a reward. It is pretty rewarding having to uh, get go through 14 stages just for one reward. So it's definitely rewarding in that way. Alright, as I've said before, this stage alone has like eight rings. I'm gonna play as slow as I can to hopefully not miss miss them. I don't wanna look at a video because that's gonna take time. That's how I usually do it. more of a scavenger hunt for me than just getting to the end fast. Because if I go too fast, I'm most likely gonna miss... miss them. Not there. I like how there are two for for um, Sonic and Tails. It's even better if Tails gets on the, run, the same one because he, he he helps that way, making it faster. Oh no, a mushroom! Ow! Yeah, because I placed. Uh, uh, the chaos emeralds, so they could transform. I can't turn into Super Sonic anymore. Um, the final boss of the game is only you can only fight him if you're either super or hyper. So even if you don't get hyper by the end of why? Even if you don't get beat all the special stages in Sonic and Knuckles, you still get access to the final boss if you have the Chaos Emeralds, so... But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the Hyper Emeralds, because I've done it so many times. There has to have been one I've missed here, because... I mean, there's four in each... Ready to install latest Windows update. <sighs> Snooze. There's probably gonna be three more in this stage because I already did the first one. And then four in the other stage. I don't know, it feels like there should be more close by here. I know for a fact how some of them look, like the entrances to it. 
So if I see something similar, yeah, here, I can definitely tell. What? I remember gaining height if you... Well, I failed that one, because it's above me now. There's a little cave you can go to the wall there. This is the hardest room right here. Let's get it over with. If there's one I'm gonna fail, it's gonna be this one. This is very easy to fail. Look how tight it is. Oh my god, I'm not looking forward to the next part here. This right here is why this stage is so scary. There's like four of those here. Here's the, the other one. It's very easy to miscalculate or just do it too early or too late. Oh, so nervous. Okay, just stay calm. Stay calm. Ah. Three more. It's not as bad as I remember. Uh, this is the last one. No! <laughs> no! I had, all I had to do was push right. Oh, this is gonna suck because I. <sighs> Obviously, since I spent more, more time with Sonic 3, I, I'm not as. I'm not as mad. I don't remember much of the rings in this game. This half. And there are fewer. That's why this stage has so many. Because the next stages are less. I mean, first of all, you can only get it through four or f no, five stages before you're locked out. <sighs> I was so close! And that's. Oh, well, I meant what I said. If I was gonna fail one, that would be the one. I might actually have to look up. If I don't find the, the next one in this stage, I'm gonna have to look up for the next one. For act two. That looks like the boss. Yeah, this looks like the... Yeah, it's probably the last one. This is not good. This is awful right here. I have to backtrack now, as far as I can. Yeah, we we'll locked out somewhere. Okay. Oh, 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 I remember this. You have to, like, time this here. You have to gain height. Is this the way you get it? No, it's not. Oh, frick. No! Back to the last checkpoint all this time. I'll see you soon. I'll lose my shield. Hopefully, I'll get it back. That looks like something down there. 
Yeah, that looks like a little hidden section. Well, I have a clue then. Down. That's where the last one was. Isn't it? Back here. Yeah, I'm here. I'm, I know that that's probably one of them. But I can't get up there. I'm gonna try to stick to the high point. Is that. I'm guessing that's where. There's a higher chance that it's hidden up below. Wait, no, 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 that might be it, that might be it. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, the bottom part here. You just go up here, jump, and don't hit the spring! Oh, I hate that I failed that one, because that's... One failed attempt is a lot. Walking, by the way. Yes, go down here. Oh, let's see if there's something. No, 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 no. You're kidding me. The oh my god. No, there has to be here. <laughs> this probably is. Yes, it's right here. Backtracking was such a Should I do the same one? One remaining. That's the worst part. I just have to push right. Ay, ay, ay. Why does this? Why does this one feel like? Either I made a mistake, or the speed up happened right. I mean, I did spend some time looking around in the last second, the last part. Okay, that's all of them in this section. Where is the end? Don't fail this. That was really close. <gasps> yes. I made up for my mistake. Alright, maybe one or two will be hard now. That's just the most stressful one. It's, <laughs> it's one with the fewest orbs too. Oh. Okay, now we can have some boss. <laughs> this mini boss is actually pretty cool. I know he can lose his head sometimes. Silly idea. <laughs> All right, four more to find. I did well finding three of them. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure your 
we're still messing around. I think this I think this is the last time actually, because he doesn't show up more. His one and only control in this game is at the start. Then again you do Yeah, there is a part in the lottery. Man. I just every time I see a wall in this level I'm I feel like like a wall on the right side, I feel like there has to be a ring in there. It's not speed up since I'm exploring. Uh, maybe to the bottom. Oh, this was. Where's the lever you had? Is that it? Is that it? Ah, uh, all those wall walls there. Because there's just, I'm pretty sure there's like two or three that's hidden like that. And again, I think one of them is one up. <sighs> boy. These are the ones that go up. Okay, that looks suspicious. This being up. Oh, oh, another one. Yeah! I really want to have it before Sentinelopolis. No, before Sentinelopolis. Reef. Well, I did the one most to the right, so let's do the one most to the left. I don't remember this one. Oh, he has this one. This is similar to the one with, um... The four you have to go through in each part. Except now the fours are in the middle. And these are... I don't know how to describe it. It's a lot less threatening than the last one, that's for sure. I don't want to fail again, because I know the limited rings. It's Mushroom Hill and Sindopolis, and then there's just... Oh! Thank god I can... <laughs> I can move backwards midair. Thank god. That was way stressful from that time. Oh, I like that color. Three hours now. Why do I, why do I even have access to it continues when I have, when I'm playing on save? That was purple. It looked red to me. I guess I go this way then. <laughs> I 
know when... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. This stage is really cool with uh, changing the seasons. Oh yeah, this is the one. This stage... Well, the idea reminds me of Clay Clockwood from Magic Suey. No, it wasn't the one I was thinking of. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this one, this one. Yeah. Come on! I gotta go back to that. Because after you jump off this ramp here... Wait, there's nothing there? Fine. No! No! This is too far! I shouldn't be in this section. This is for later. <sighs> I know there's a special way to end that section. Three? That's not even a half. Close to half. Usually when I play play this, I look up where every ring is beforehand and hunt them down them all. I don't feel like doing it. Anymore. Let's go this way. Oh, it's a knuckles part. All right. Then. Fine! Let's go to the winter section. It's there, I know... ...where... ...all them are. I could've sworn that was the way to find it. Oh, uh, I thought it was... I thought it was getting to the boss now. Never mind. If I see a checkpoint, that's when I know I've gotten too far. Yeah, here, here. Find this guy. Okay. I would have had five now if I beat this one, of course. I think this is the one. No. This one went where all you have to do is just go straight and turn. This one I expected here, but no. But I can't wait to get to Awesome. I mean, an upgrade to Supersonic is just... That just sounds hella overpowered and fun. Because you already know how broken Supersonic is. So something improved on that? I mean, how can you not be excited? Unless you hate being too powerful. Well, this one wasn't too bad. Now I have more than half. Wait, this is the purple one? No, what was... What was about the red one? It looked like purple one. <sighs> Maybe it looked different with this... When I got it. That one's definitely purple. Alright, time to leave this place. I know there's like... <laughs> yeah, it's better to take your time. But I'm impatient. Thank 
Taking Tails just helps. Ah. Oh, yeah, took him out. Wait, is there... Every time I see a wall going up on the right side, I just have to check it. What is this for? It doesn't really look like it's the reason for the... Maybe it was like draining. Oh yeah, this boss is pretty dang cool because it uses a cool 3D effect here. He's just running away. I kinda feel bad for him. Ah! Okay, this is probably one hit. Not two. Ah! Ah! Okay. One more! And he hits a tree here. <laughs> Squirrels and chickens. Why are the chickens in the forest? I don't know. I don't know where chickens usually live wild. And the loud ship. Airship sound effects is back. I prefer the Sonic 3 version of the soundtrack more, but I can't deny it. this is this is definitely the highlight of the Sonic the game. Stage two. This is my favorite stage in the game. Oh, the knuckles have. This one's just a blast. <laughs> Tell anyone about this. <laughs> it would be nice if all the stages were consistent, having four rings. Because I think there's like two in each act here, and I only know one in each. <gasps> I know, I know, um, warping is the main, main strategy when it comes to, uh... I know for Sonic 2 in this game, warping is the way to go on speedrunning. Pretty much what I did in, uh, Ice Cap that I showed off. Because you can just, you can do it at specific points in the stage and, like, Warp all the way to the end. God damn it. Is, is, is the curse still with me of being bad at Sonic and Knuckles part? Because that's why I didn't have a good time last time, because I just. I died too much and just had a whole lot of time going through the stages. Well, it was more on the later half of Sonic and Knuckles. We'll see you later on. I have a one up here, so mistakes don't mean much the time. I think this stage might be the second best for the fire shield, use for the fire shield. The best one is obviously Lava Me, this Lava. More the second part, because there's a lot of flame. Oh yeah, this part. 
for some reason. Oh my god. Oh wait. Nothing good here. What about a perfect spot for I don't know, a special ring? prefer the second act, like act two's music. Uh, no. I just don't like how it sounds like a star. I just prefer the high speed of this one. They're both amazing. Though. I don't dislike the second version, I just prefer this one. Save animals this whole time, then enemies come out. I mean, it is an obvious concept that most prices didn't add. So. I've never seen missiles shooting from the wall here. Alright, I know there's a goodie over here. Never mind, it's not. It's over here. Yeah, just go up here. I really would have preferred a special one. Right. This thing just doesn't have... Almost feels like no special rings. And I know, the one I know I'll always remember is only because it's so stupidly well hidden. Gonna appear. I guess not. <laughs> oh yeah, something awesome about this stage is um, there's a part where the electrified ceilings. If you if you get a an electric shield, you actually get to run on the roof, which is awesome. There are so many places where they could hit them on the No. I just need That would have been too obvious if you were here. This is a part, yeah. Platforms. This has to lead to one. I just remember this part. But how you get there. Oh, hey! Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Stupidly, stupidly hidden rings. You just have to push the spikes. Yeah, this song is awesome. Definitely the standout of Sonic and Oz. Oh, this one's actually pretty similar to the one I was talking about earlier. You pretty much just have to walk forward. Only 27 left? Wow. No, the one I was referring to is, like, literally only walking forward. This one has more, um, navigation, I feel. Alright. Why'd you jump there? That one was way too easy. Da 
da da da da da Yeah! That one is purple! Why was it red when I caught it? You have purple there. Is that the red one now? There aren't two purple emeralds. It's red, blue, green, yellow, white, purple. Did I say purple? Let me start over. Red, blue, cyan, green, yellow, white, and I forgot again. Did I say purple or not? <sighs> Let's start with it. Purple. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is the one I always remember, because it's on the main path. It's literally hidden the same way. Back already. Yeah, this one's purple here. Now it's. I don't get this. Okay, one more after this. This is the one where you just have to move forward and turn. Unless you want to get perfect, then you have to go into the middle and collect all the grains, meaning your speed builds up faster. I like the colors, so it's not because of speed. <laughs> uh, I really hope it's not going to surprise me to speed up. I don't remember it doing that. This is the one that probably has the most spheres. Yeah, it sped up uh, in a safe space. It is a little... It is a little... Nervous. Is it being just... One wrong move and you fail. But it's no big deal. One more. This wasn't as bad as I thought. Actually caught up. <laughs> <sighs> well, if the last one, if I do fail at the last one, I know a few in Sandopolis. And I'm only in Act 1, so Act 2 should have one or two. I know. Oh, yeah, this room it just has random capsules in there. That was really nice. And we're at the boss. Huh? What? I wanted to make it a surprise, so I faked it. Yeah, I knew this this was the mini boss. I mean I kinda didn't I kinda didn't want to press the button yet, yet I landed on it. I wanted to get... okay. Well, no big deal, because this guy is stupid. <laughs> he hits himself. Then again, Robotnik does something even more stupid with the next act. Like, that is this, one of his stupidest plans ever in the next act. And he does yet another stupid thing, and... Lava Reef. We're... Okay, now, now I'm confused. Why did I... Why do, did I think this song was... Maybe I misremembered it, because... I mean, it has been a while. That beginning part sounded awesome. I can't deny that. Oh, no worries. Yeah, it's gonna be rainless. Oh yeah, these. I don't know if you thought you were playing live. Uh... 
fights with Wolverine. Not a huge threat. See if I can keep this shield so I can show off running on the walls. Oh, I'm not feeling so threatened by this issue. It's no big deal. Oh yeah, here we go. What? I'm supposed to be able to run on the walls. Is that something Mania did? Might be. <laughs> That's how you can tell it's been so long since I played this. No, there has to be. Because you can run on the roof. No. I guess it was this high pitch part that I didn't like. Am I at the start of the stage? What's the point of these rats? Rat robots. Then again, Mega Man has odd enemies as well. I really like that as a little drill. drill door. Alright. I usually rush this part because. Ah. Let's have a land on. We had no chance. Let's not rush this like last time. This is a death trap without the spin dash. If that wasn't Sonic 1, that would be impossible. Sorry, Tails. No! It doesn't. Are you kidding me? It probably would have had me connect. Last time I led to a special ring, I'm hoping it's the same here. I really like this, you have to take your time in this section to find this out. Oh, if only I could get a special ring, I could go... Never mind! What did I... No! Oh, okay. Oh yeah, these! These are awesome right here. Does they like keep your speed going? Uh, should I be going this fast? I guess it wasn't a special ring here. Uh, I'm getting a little worried now. It's gonna be very helpful for Sand Novelist because it's. I mean, it's the most disliked zone in the game for a reason. It's more puzzle focus on the second part. Now that I think about it, Sonic and Knuckles has a lot of stupid bosses. Like this stage has two of them. Ah! I can move these. I saw it. Yeah, the mini boss in the sound office is pretty stupid. It's funny stupid though. <laughs> because you don't even have to hit him to take him out. Wow. How many times has Tails got crushed? 
I got left behind. I'm sorry. <laughs> I could have sworn it wasn't easy. I like how you can see the animal capsules in the back. It's really cool. I could have sworn there wasn't just one easy final on the path. I think it's like it's high up on a wall to the left. And you like get a boost like this here? Yes, it's literally here. Oh my god, that was perfect timing. This was literally what I was trying to explain. I have no clue what this one looks like. I don't remember. Uh... Well, this is an odd one to finish with. Okay, I remember this part right here. There's one on the other side, too. This is just random placements. I really want it to be done with this now. I want hypersonic. I really want it for the final for the boss of uh, Sand Office too, because you can kill him before the music starts with it. And I really want to do that. Uh that was a waste of time. I thought I could... Damn it. I thought it was looping. So it wouldn't be... Oh my god. Sandopolis it is. That's where I get hyper. Because I'm right at the end right now. This is the stupidest thing. Robotnik slash Eggman has ever done because he has. He's slowly shooting down a powerful laser at his own ship. Just to try and get. Just to try and defeat Sonic with an easy. Like an easy laser. And he's just. He's not having an issue with this. Oh, this flying airship that took a lot of resources and time. Eh. My my hate for Sonic matters more. This is why you fail so all throughout the series because you're stupid. And the manuals and wait like the manuals and everything his reputation is always going back to his IQ of three hundred. Where? Where? His shirt really doesn't show that he has that high an IQ with his plans. He's literally ripping off Star Wars in his early appearances. I mean, the classic series is where he's the most dumb with his boss fights. Some of them are just so dumb. I could make a list of ranking of this from smartest to dumbest. Oh, that's a good At least this one's pretty cool right here. I love how he looks in in, uh, in his little capsule there. It looks like he has some naughty parts. You stay away from me. <laughs> I think I hit the spike there. I would have been dead if the insta shield wasn't available. That's what I'm saying. The insta shield, it doesn't seem like a huge, uh, huge, hugely useful move. a clutch at times. I got no score from that because I, <laughs> I was too late and I had no rings. He 
we mentioned Pyramid earlier. <laughs> this is where Pyramids come in. Literally. <laughs> Just hope I remember where the ring is in this stage. I know there's... Uh, in the second... In Act 2, you have to be really quick to get one. Because there are time doors and switches you have to pull. That open the doors. I'm gonna check over here first. Yeah, you know, I'm back to I'm back to looking for rings now. That really doesn't make sense. Actually, it might be under here, because I know there's a secret down here. It would be perfect if a ring, a special ring would be here so I could finally... Oh my god, there isn't. Maybe down here? I don't know, I'm thinking one is down below. Am I to start now? Oh no, 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 no. Are you kidding me? It would have been perfect for a ring. Why would you need invincibility going all this way and then just. stumping down here, I think. Yeah. I'm starting to feel drained. Not enough to where I want to end. It's just a little annoying. Two failed attempts I would have had for some by now. Hey, thank you, Tails. I really want it before Act 2's boss. So I can show off. That funny thing you can do. This, uh, something over here. No. Yeah, when people say call this their least favorite stage, it's not much about the first act as it is the second one. That one is slow and more time trial and puzzle. Well, this one is uh, simple and just. Has fun with the sand theme. How does this make sense? I get... I get... Oh, is this it? This looks like it could be... Oh, that looks dangerous, so I hope. Ah. Yeah, I get, I get the sa falling sand where you need to jump up, but just going up thanks to sand without jumping eh, doesn't really make sense. <sighs> Knuckles part. Is there something down here? It looks like there's something down here. Something good, like a special ring maybe. Ow! Oh, oh! This could be it. This could be it. Get that ring, damn it. This could be it. Yes! 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 Oh, here we go. Don't be dumb this time. Get all of these so you don't have to... No! Oh, okay, I'm just gonna have to... Thank god I remembered that, because I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna have to go back to that point to go through. Yeah, because there's a part if you go like vertically, and then another part horizontal, horizontally. It's probably why I ran out of orbs to find. Yeah. 
I need to go back there. Maybe not, because I'm starting to run low on orbs. Oh god. I really felt like I made a mistake there, but no. Okay, I think that's it. Now I go back to the... Oh! No! There we go. Yeah, this is it! <laughs> no more blues in the air. Two failed attempts. Yeah. I need to take Nemo for a walk in half an hour. Sonic is something entirely different. Oh my god. He is so OP that the Super Emeralds, probably because of the seizure colors as well. We haven't seen him since this game. They just gave up on Super Emeralds and we haven't seen them ever since. I mean, it's at the end of Sonic Adventure 2, it looks like big chaos on one side. Then the arc. How am I supposed to go here? Great, thank you. Caterpillar. There's only one reason why I know the name of that enemy. What? I'm supposed to go even further down? You know, difficulty might be another reason why this stage is, is my huge favorite. Because I can tell it's more challenging than the last couple of stages. Sonic and Knuckles is... wow. The Sonic and Knuckles part is overall... Um, more challenging. Yeah! To stand like this here... That makes sense, but just floating up on the sand? That really... that's just weird. When I did Mega Man Maker levels, um, I made one for Pharaoh Man. And I used the sand similar to... Oh, I didn't even know I had enough. Now this is Seizure. He even, he even flashes the screen that kills every enemy around. It works as a it works as a double jump. I wasn't lying when I said this is an improved super Sonic. <laughs> oh my god, it even has after images. That's so cool. Whoa! That was a special ring! Oh now I feel bad that I double jumped. Time. I want that special ring though, because I even know there was one up here. Okay. Well, good thing I'm invincible. Ah, oh, the double jump. The double jump alone makes this. A lot more fun. Yeah, like I said, every enemy on the screen, gone.
guy has been the target of many signature jokes. Hey, we're at the boss. The boss that where you don't have to do anything to kill him. He just has to move around. It's pretty funny because he dies in a stupid way. You know, those red shoes really don't fit with the flashing colors. Hello, Egg Golem. You don't look as big as you do in Sonic Adventure 2. Speaking of which, this song right here... Um, this song right here is remixed in Sonic Adventure 2 when you fight the Egg Golem. Uh, it's more of a Pharaoh Golem than a Rock Golem than this, like this guy. Alright, be a good boy now. Prepare this pool for you. It's all warm and nice. Are you here for you to join? Just come on in. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I wonder, will I, will I drown? Oh, I can't move anymore, so. To find out another day. <laughs> Sand jumping. Also, I really like you go into the pyramid here. And this is the stage everyone calls their least favorite in this game. But I like it. I have a hard time deciding what my least favorite stage is. Uh, I. I'm not a big fan of Lava Reef Act 2. There's way too much fire that can hurt you. Way too much reliance on the fire shield. Which is cool because the fire shield does deserve awesome. it. Does deserve as a stage to shine. I mean water shield, every underwater part. Is there, a, is there even a single water part in Sonic and Knuckles? I don't think so. That's insane. Like, the water shield is useless on this part. Yeah, this is why people do dislike this part. For one of the big reasons. Because you release ghosts. When they start, they start attacking. It is cool, though, when you're hypersonic and... They just don't go away when you use the double jump. I love the look of this level. I love the look of... I just love the look of desert areas. We haven't seen this one since the beginning, but I, I'm fine. I don't want to do it. So I'm gonna... I'm just gonna get another shield. didn't sound like it's supposed to, and it sounded a lot cooler because of it. Yeah, I think you just need to know it's the next one. This song's pretty dang cool, not gonna lie. Yeah, this is where you jump. Up there. Here. Mm -hmm. Another spooky ghost is gonna come out. I have to get access to Hypersonic before the end of the stage, because I want to show the funny thing with the boss. I don't know about that. It's not a huge concern to ghosts. That is a huge concern, though. I made it, thanks to this awesome shield! Like, you can argue that this is the least useful one when it comes to protecting you. Man, the electricity and, like, the homing, or magnetic, uh, 
magnetic ring uh, thing and a double jump really makes the shield burst. For some reason, it defended me against the ice projectiles in the last stage. I think that's what his purpose is, because I know... Nemo! I know in Knuckles section there are like ice crystals you need to avoid, and there's an electric shield at the bottom. So I'm guessing... Okay. Okay, that has me that has me curious. I kinda wanna go just to find out. What's over here? Nothing. Alright, hyper time. Really is so. <laughs> it really is hard to keep up. This form. Oh yeah, this part. So many times have I glitched under the sand and watched the sand just fly up into the ceiling. Let's see if it happens again. Yeah, this isn't the only one that fills up. Okay, this one. I love how I can just skip. Skip uh, having to wait for the sand for this part. Because it's a double jump with hypersonic. I can make shortcuts. I love this so much. No, the girls are getting angry. A lot of songs sped up because of the speech you took up. Uh, oh, I think this is the end. Yeah. Alright. No, never mind. Oh no. The ghosts. The ghosts. This is the end right here. Alright, get ready for ultimate defeat. Never mind. One well, close. This stage really isn't that bad. Doesn't seem to be over yet. I have sworn that's almost close to the end. There are no more sand parts at least. The price of sand. No, I don't want to do this. Okay. I'm fine this way. Sonic has his mouth normal sprite when he's doing this. Uh, I didn't expect the stage to be this long. I mean, it is probably the longest one. No, Carnival Night. I don't know. The longest one in Sonic 2. Oh, I feel like I can do something good. I just need need to stay away from getting crushed. And I'm fine. Just grab. Yeah, this is knuckle section. Where do I go then? Up here? Alright. <laughs> I could have sworn the stage didn't go on for this long. I wanna. Yeah, I noticed a goodie there. God damn it, I need to get enough rings now. <sighs> Come on. This one isn't that bad though. No, I don't want the. Okay, I may have ruined it. Because I need this shield to be gone, and I don't know if I can hurt myself or something. The ghosts, of course! Okay, this is the end right here. Hey little ghosty. Today you today is your lucky day, you get to get a hit on me. Oh your brother, your little friend? 
have only one of you are going to get to hit on, on me, so I guess you're fine with sharing. Not getting the hit. Got any more friends? Are you guys gonna do something? Good job. Hello? Thank you! Now let's beat this boss before the music starts. It is a cool boss, but man, just being able to defeat them before the music starts is just such a good thing. You can't... <laughs> I can't not do it. Because it's just so funny. <laughs> oh no! This is a big favorite from this game. I mean, it made it into Mania. It's probably the second best stage. I love the feel of this, how you go through caves, like the tight areas here, with lava sections in between. And you like break down... Um, you break down entrances and such, through, by destroying rocks. It really is cool. Oh. Now the second one, I'm not too fond of. It's probably my least favorite stage in the game, like I said earlier. It's the one if I had to pick a least favorite. Oh yeah, and this is cool. Oh, I forgot that you go left there. Uh, fire is definitely more useful, but I like the fire electric shield more. You know, why did I think so badly? Like, why did I dislike the Sonic and Knuckles part so much? It was more because of Death Egg, now that I think about it. Death Egg was not kind to me last time. I probably had a hard time in Sky Sanctuary too. I love this here, because you can damage this guy. You can make it behind him and get a nice one up. Did he die? Hey, let's go say hi to Barney. I think he's over here. No, he appears later, I think. Ah. Whatever. Hey! No, it wasn't the one I was thinking of. You just break from here it is. Special ring? Thank you. <laughs> no worries, I don't need them anymore, but thanks for the bonus. Wow, Tails just gained speed from nowhere. Ah! <laughs> oh, even better. Especially with this room right here. Perfect for it. Look at all the rings! Woo! I love this game. I see now why this is up there with Metroid Prime. Uh, what other games 
have been on my list of favorites that I haven't touched in a while. Banjo 2, me? Really? That's more because of childhood. <laughs> I did revisit it. Oh, how kind you are. Two of them. Why does it feel like there are more electric shields? Because I've gotten three of them at this stage. There are more electric shields than the one than the shield that's made for this level. How am I complaining? I mean there are a lot of areas like this with rings. They just know what you you most likely have hypersonic by this point. Look at this! This is awesome! Why am I stuck? Like, screw platforming, I can just fly my way out. I don't need to wait and make my way upstairs. I'm a seizure. Uh, seizure hog. Sounds cool. You can even dash straight down. I love that. These enemies look like they're high. And them, their main attack being smoke. Yeah. Can I hurt the end the bosses? Ooh, that was that looked fun. Really fun. Okay, the bosses I have to hit. Which is fair. Oh no, what's this hand gonna do? I want to bounce in between them, like I did right, like I did before. Never mind. What? A, where was the challenge? <laughs> I should prepare to walk my dog now. I like this stage look-wise because... I mean, just look at it. You go over here. This stage is beautiful. Man, I wish there was a... wasn't so much fire around. Like, it is a cool and entertaining stage. Great look on the stage. Probably the most beautiful. Actually, I'll take that. I'm gonna keep going until... the dog go bark. I have to say... The Mania version of this song... I'm sorry, but... I hate listening to it, because it just sounds so... Like I know what I won't I know what T Loves was going with like a slow rock feel. I just hate hearing I just hate hearing the guitar just go like groaning. It's so annoying. Like <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe that's why I think of this stage as my least favorite in this game, because I well, the guitar isn't in this song, so... I don't know, it feels, it feels way too much away from... Like, you can tell that the rest of... Oh my god! Just get it. Like, most of Mania's soundtrack has, has a, a very sonic -y feel. That song just doesn't really... It's not fitting, I feel. Water? Why? Oh no, it's very unfitting and very annoying. That's how it sounds. Back here to the soul. I was just having you heard it. Oh, 
I don't think I've ever felt more, had more fun being invincible in a game. Because you can just fucking, the double jump it does so much with the enjoyment. You can like, you can breeze through rooms like this here. Never mind, I have to take my time here. Like if you, if you, if you're familiar with the level design, it becomes a whole different game. More heck, fast pace and more fun. Oh yeah, that part. That part's awesome. I wouldn't mind playing through a whole game with snipers. I can because of the saves, but I always get on with snipers here. So I can. Oh, am I getting close to the boss? I kind of want enough rings for that. Because that boss is... If I lose the fire shield, it's going to be a pain. Thankfully, it gives you a fire shield. Four. Yeah, this platforming section? No big deal. Oh yeah, you can see the death deck here. It's awesome. Hey, I haven't seen you in a bit. Okay, I'll be able to do go hyper. I'm gonna run out with how slow this boss is. You became big. That is awesome. This might be the stupidest boss in the series. By how you defeat it. Like, you didn't really defeat the flying battery one. It's very similar to the egg goal from the last stage, because you don't have to do any damage on him. You just let him take damage by himself, from his own weapons. Uh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, because it's so stupid, because when I reach this part right here, yeah, no pit. You're supposed to go down here, so... Oh, it's so annoying because I had enough rings to go super. That is so stupid. I'd rather have a fire shield here. Thank you. You're supposed to go down, so why is it acting as a pit until you reach... Oh, it's so stupid. Like, that... That's dangerous for playthroughs because you remember it as a pit. Alright. I'll be back in like 10 minutes.
Okay. Yeah. I probably should have increased the volume for Nightbot because I lowered the volume on the game. <clears throat> Let's see. Alright. How did I breeze through Lava Reef 2? Like, I had like five minutes until. Oh, I did it in four minutes. That explains everything. <laughs> Definitely wasn't as bad as I remembered. I don't know why I remembered. It has the worst, my least favorite stage, but eh. <clears throat> well, something I wanted to do, what was it? Well, this wasn't what I wanted to do, but... It helps. Putting my phone on charging. <sighs> I don't remember. Oh my god, I forgot. Oh, it was so loud. Yeah, because I increased the music to hear the awesome Cyber Peacock theme. But I love that theme. Especially the f end part. God. That song has went from... Like... Um... Favorites from... X4. Before it was like in between 10 to 5. Now it's in 5 to 1. No joke. I love that song so much now. It grew on me a lot when I returned to X4. Speaking of which. I remember saying during the X6 second stream that I'm honestly surprised that I love the X series so much. You know, with the series going... I mean... When you look at the classic games, X games, and Zero games... Yeah, the... The X series is definitely the one that went downhill the most. But I can't help it, I just love the series and just... What I'm getting at is, I think one of the biggest reasons is because of the music. I already finished this bag of chips. It was a small bag, so... Now I understand why, <laughs> why that combo bag... was cheap. Because the smaller bag's in it have barely any chips in them. Yeah, music in games matter a lot to me with my enjoyment of it. Like, I, I love music in games, so... I mean, Zero Two is the best example I can think of. Like, the soundtrack for that game made the game for me. I didn't care that I was playing the easy mode or just... Getting through it all with no issues. 
That soundtrack alone made it my favorite of the four. Then again, I was pretty much playing on beginner mode. Specifically made for players that um, want to see the end of the series, but don't feel like putting hours into retrying and getting better. I will beat the four games. I'm, I mean, I've pretty much already beaten Zero One regularly, just haven't beaten the final boss. It's the final form because of the pits. But that took a lot of grinding crystals and hunting down elves. I'm gonna go get me another bag of chips. <laughs> I shook the bag in front of Nemo, and he sprung up. <laughs> um, I mean, there's a reason why my Nightbot playlist has 75 songs from the X-Series. You know, similar to the Sonic series, the games may not be the best, but the music is awesome all throughout. Even X8, which is my least favorite because of its... <sighs> generic rock covering most of the soundtrack. It's still an awesome soundtrack. Now I need to fill up more sour cream. I want to give, uh, let me just check out my playlist and see how many songs are from each game. I've already done this, I know, but why not, let's do it now, again. Five, so we have ten from Mega Man X, one. Seven from X2. <clears throat> Five from X3 SNES. Three from X3 PlayStation. Here's the big one. Five. Ten. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> Eighteen songs from X4. That's probably half the soundtrack. Oh, who cares? I, I adore the game. I adore its soundtrack. <laughs> um. Well, I'm, I'm not too biased because X5 is... I consider might be even better than X Force soundtrack. I just like X Force the most. X Five has some really iconic songs. Okay, five. Ten. Only eleven from X Five? That's very surprising with my opinion on the soundtrack. X6, we have 5. 7. X7. Uh, 5. 9. X5. 
8, 5. So x8 is tied with x3 if you don't count the PS... I mean, with the PS1, PS1 soundtrack, I'm... With x3, like... I have the PS1 version of Toxic Seahorse stage because I prefer it. But if I didn't go with a rule that having one per soundtrack, then I would have Maverick Hunter HQ for both PS1 and uh, SNES. Not Zero Steam. Zero Steam and X3 is a little eh. Gravity Beetle is great in both, and Toxic Seahorse is great in general, both of them. So I'm limiting it by having one version of each, the version I prefer of songs that I... <sighs> Let's just get to the damn game already. <laughs> oh wow, I lowered the volume so much on my headset that <laughs> there's no sound at all. That's too loud. That's too low. Too loud. Too low. That's more like it. No, it's a little too loud still. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna pause every time I get a chip. I'm gonna. When I beat a stage or like something happens. Or I have to wait somewhere, I'm gonna grab a chip. So why is this one of the most stupid uh, bosses of Eggman? God damn it. This is not good. That is really not good. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna do this. Hey, chill out. I'm getting chips. <laughs> I just hate how on repeat playthroughs you remember that you're supposed to go down to fight the boss here but if you go down too early the same thing happens as what happened last time when I lost all my rings like obviously the first time you play you're gonna be careful with the platforms It is rare to find something like that in a game where something something kills you on repeat playthroughs more than the first playthrough. It is annoying. These ranks don't matter. This is a very bright boss room. Place. Alright, let me finish it this time. God damn it! This boss is one of the most stupid bosses from Robotnik. His attacks hurt himself. Hurts himself. He knows it, it's hurting himself because he got hit over and over. Yet he doesn't stop. He doesn't try to like ram. Sonic and Tails just tried to. Push them into lava himself. No, he just stays there and takes hits. That's why this is such a stupid boss. 
It is a unique and fun concept. Like, it would have made more sense if the platforms were the ones that hurt them. Because that would be unavoidable. But here it's his own weapons. His own attacks. Yes, that's it, son. Sonic 06 loading screen is not this is faster than this. Not by much, I'll I have to say. <laughs> uh. I hope you're prepared now because this stage right here. This stage right here is the hardest one. Easily. Like you're not you're not prepared to see just how frustrating this stage is gonna be for me. I, I, I always die like get a game over or two here. I swear it's brutal. Man, it looks awesome, though. I love that background. <sighs> Ow! That was a cheap shot. You know, Knuckles' track record of being a boss isn't great. But at least it's not as bad as this next the next time you fight him. And again, that's pretty much every character fight in Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. Well, Sonic Adventure 2 has some good ones, like Shadow and Sonic. Oh yeah! This right here is a little hint. At a specific event coming up near the end. No, right at the end. So I guess you can call it a prophecy. That's my rock. You are. You brought this on yourself for believing it. I like this though. Yes, I like it. That stage was insanely brutal. I'm not joking, in a palace. <laughs> uh, I like how you can float here. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, that was all sarcasm. In a palace is just story. That's it. I mean, I. I could have made that with a spin dash jump, but sure. <laughs> We're close to the end now. God, this song is so high pitched, it hurts. I'm honestly surprised at this stage, out of all, all the stages in Sonic and & Knuckles, and Sonic 3. 
out of all of them, this was the one that was chosen for Sonic Generations, and I'm pretty sure those were voted on. What's so amazing with Sky Sanctuary? What, like... <sighs> Why? Like... You have Flying Battery, you have Ice Cap, Hydro City, freaking Launch Base, you have... So many great options, yet you go with the one that's just story. Build up to the final <laughs> final level. Hey, this this looks familiar. Oh, I forgot that I had hypersonic. As I said, uh, the games that were represented for Sonic Generations, the they I'm pretty sure the stages that were chosen were via voting. Like, uh, voting one from each game to include. But that led to having four city stages. No joke, there's... I'm not kidding. <clears throat> we have Speed Highway, we have City Escape, Crisis City, and Rooftop Run. I mean, at least they're different. Like, Speed Highway is nighttime. High atop roofs. Like it starts on rooftops and you just make your way from uh, building to building during night. City Escape is just San Francisco skateboard at the start as you go down. Not really a skateboard, you, you're surfing on a piece of a helicopter. So. Crisis City is, for one, a level from Sonic 06. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that Sonic Team really. Hey, this looks familiar too. This is just fan service. Nostalgia about the. Last two games. At least the last one was a good game. It is cool though. Especially with it not being robotic. Yeah, so they, Sonic Team decided to include the game that almost ruined. Well, for one, it ruined the reputation. I mean, I am happy they did it. Did it. Because, um, uh, they had to pick pick one. Or it would be three stages from representing classic series. Um, three early 3D, and then two for modern. So, they pretty much had to. It would either be that or a Shadow of the Hedgehog level. Oh, come on. Well, they went with Crisis City because for some reason that's the favorite stage from Sonic 06. I don't really understand why. Great! This was just what happened last time I played this. I might be going to... I'm probably going the wrong way. You know what? Oh, 
Wait, I remember this. Uh... What? I didn't get a checkpoint before? Or after this? Maybe I have to refight if I die. Hold on. I don't mind because this boss is weak. Um, for Sonic Unleashed, it was pretty much... I mean, it was... The most thing about Sonic Unleashed is just traveling around the world. And most stages were city stages, so... They just went with the fan favorite. I mean, it's obvious that City Escape could be chosen. The Speed Highway is loved, too. I would have much preferred to see King Moon Valley. Is that the name of that stage? I know it was Kingdom or something. Yeah, Kingdom Valley. As I see that one more being more of a better representation for it, for the game. <sighs> now, sadly, including Sonic 06 made, made everyone think, oh no, Sonic 06 is canon? <laughs> I don't really care. <sighs> I do care now. How they're handling the series. I don't like how we went from just how we went from games that just. Let's start with Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Unleashed added like a whole new world to the series, like it made the humans more cartoonish instead of Sonic 06's way. Just made it. Made it an interesting, cool world. And had their own countries and stuff. Then the next game doesn't have any of that because it's up in space in a China amusement park with aliens. Sonic Generations was eh. It was just it was just a game to celebrate in the series. After that was Lost World, where we had like I don't know, a weird hexagonal planet just randomly in the sky somewhere. No sign of anything from Unleashed. Or colors for that matter. They even have the fucking wisps. The aliens from Sonic Colors that made the game unique. And they didn't stop there. They the wisp have, wisps have been I mean I expected them to appear in in the new game as well. Uh, let's not count Sonic Boom, because that was more of its own thing. This is a cool little thing. I love how it looks in Generations, with it being so, like, modern day. I like this almost. Hey! Did I walk into the ending? The ending uh, space battle in Return of the Jedi or something? Am I at the core of the Death Star? <laughs> it's obvious what this is supposed to be. Yeah, Sonic Lost World has some weird fucking villains that just. <sighs> I mean, their name is based on Yeti. They, they're just colorful, weird abominations. Then after the, that, it was all quiet. Because Sonic Boom was around. And it flopped for the games, but not the TV show for some reason. Uh, we had Sonic Mania, which was more like Generation. 
Just, just celebrating. Giving, finally giving what so many people have been waiting for. Sonic 4 just came around and just no sign of any humans or anything from the previous games. Just... I don't know, just... OC... Sonic characters with nothing in them. There's, they don't have anything. They have shoes, gloves, that's it. Just no bodies. Like, oh, that's the dog character again. And they're just copy paste from the final part of the game. Like so many of them. <sighs> oh! And the so Sonic team just thought, hey, our most loved game recently has been Sonic Generations. That must mean our fans want more of that. So let's take our world that we built up in Sonic Unleashed and throw it away. And let's have Green Hill in every single Sonic game. Not just that, we're gonna bring in Chemical Plant, the Death Egg. So that's what everyone wants. Yeah, Sonic Unleashed failed. Even though now it's starting to get recognized for being a great game. Which it is! I liked it. I can't blame them, the fans, though. They, the game before was some pieces. <sighs> they just take the cool world they built up. Heck, Sonic Colors didn't add much, but it added some, like, a cool setting. Like a little vacation game, like Sonic, like Mario Sunshine, or for Sonic, just lose the part instead. Can I not go back here now? Oh my god, it says egg on those, that's funny. This is not much of gameplay anymore, it's just me ranting about my frustration with the recent games. I see, so this is just to get back here. To get another try. Pretty much. Sonic Unleash flopped. Sonic Unleash flopped. They took that as, oh, this is our second try making a world with humans, oh, we're not gonna... We did our best, but eh. Let's try something new. Sonic Colors comes around and becomes, for some reason, seen as top 5 ever Sonic games. Like the best 3D Sonic game ever. I didn't like it. I thought it was very, very lacking and just didn't have much to it. It was just, here, have these aliens that can do cool things. Let's have stages be so lame and lazy. Like, visually they look awesome, but... Man, are some of them just... They're just so dull. Like, I always remember the first one being... Oh! This... This stage we have here? Uh... All you have to do is just run forward... Around... I don't know... Rings of Saturn? Around a planet? Just do that, like, seven laps and then... Avoid enemies and then... Stage done. If I have a horrible time like last time, then I'll step on my laser. Right now. Yeah, so Sonic Colors was successful. They thought, oh, they must really like the Wisps. And they, 
then they finally did something cool. They made an awesome game, Sonic Generations. Just showing. Just giving uh, their passwords the love and attention that Passive have for them. Like, they knew that they had to go all out for it. Heck, it even redeemed Sonic 06, like Silver. He was the spice in Sonic, Sonic 06, but his boss fight alone... Like, his boss fight was so well received and so awesome in Sonic Generations that people started thinking he was cool. And then they thought... Alright, Sonic Generations is our way to go, but we still want to... Experiment. So here's Sonic Lost World, which takes out the entire gimmick of no boosting. I like Sonic Lost World. Like, I like it more than I dislike it. It's just... But the controls were really... The moveset was pretty cool. I like how the spin dash become, became awesome again. After so long, I'm just... They went away from that and had the Wisp still be around, which I guess, I mean, everyone who's ever reviewed Sonic Lost World questions why the Wisps are there, because they left at, at the end of Sonic Colors. They're just there to add fan service to the people that like the Wisps and add fun gameplay gimmicks. Which wasn't the worst. I really like that. Whoa! Damn, Tails. I really like that. It's a standout. Let's take what made Sonic Generations so loved and great. Heck, most people like much highly prefers modern Sonic or classic Sonic. That's how good the that's how well implemented the boost was in that game. And then they decided we're gonna try again making something unique. It didn't stop there. Sonic Boom was next. And we all know what happened with that. Aw, oh, dang it. I don't have Super Boom, so I have to put it in here. Why am I not using Insta Shield? Because I'm, I'm talking, I'm focusing more on talking. I don't care, I want to talk about why, why this series is so frustrating, guys. This isn't even all the part of the box. Yeah, now here comes this part. Oh god. Sonic Boom. <sighs> Almost felt like a hiatus, hiatus from the series. Because it was all about that. For a bit. Games were either... Either... Just... Just kill me. I'm gonna make a lot of friends. And after that, they announced Sonic Mania. And Made every every big fan of the classic games die with the excitement. 
like going. It's where is Tails? What? Oh, you really wanna get many hits on this wonderful bird. Greed leads to mistakes. This is a cool boss, though. Very high speed. Best phase. Come on, Tails! I need you to finish him off! Oh, come on, I can't unpause because I. Ah! Oh, I tried to. I wanted to play as Tails to just get this done. Right. Right. Ah! I hate this boss. Um, if Sonic Mania did did what it was destined to do. Have make many people happy. Finally, have. But then they announced some forces which looked very promising and finally went back to sh having a world. Like having a promising like promising look. Like similar to just, just all very promising stuff. And then we got trailer after trailer. Introduce the villains. Quote unquote villains. This new character, Infinite. Uh. Thank god. The OC, which was pretty much their. I mean, it's, it's not even a secret. They plan to have. have Sonic Boom Sonic join. Sonic Boom failed, and you know, Sonic Team. Something fails, they gotta replace it, or. do something else. But if something goes well. Nah, we should just. we should just experiment. Game released, the story was lackluster, the characters that were brought back that we haven't seen in so long. Barely anything to do, they were just either annoying or underutilized. It's all about It's all about bringing back old stuff, connecting to Sonic. Mania. God! Give me the fucking ring! I just... Tails, please do the job for me. I don't want to fight this guy anymore. <laughs> now I'm starting to see why this stage pissed me off last time. Fitting is what I'm talking about. It's, it's frustrating. I'm getting to what I wanted to get to already. Soon. Regarding the new game they announced. Like. Sonic Forces. Very mixed reviewers disliked it. It was very, it was a promising, promising story game, whatever. And then we have a stupid reason for Classic Sonic, Kill, pretty much killing off Classic Sonic to the point where so many people just don't want him to come back. Like. 
have so many years of no game. And they only have three level designers and levels. Levels are like... I mean, look at this right here. Six minutes, twenty... That's... that's, um... Fuck! I hate this part! Come on, Tails, jump on him. You... God, just fucking... Fuck him up! Thank you. Oh, I miss Hypersonic. <laughs> At least I got a hundred with time bonus. I really like this, um... It's... it's just so... weird. Like, why was there a platform below there? I like it, though. Alright, final level. I get that... Can I take advantage of this, or am I stuck? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I know this can, this can happen. Why the final level? I had a horrible time last time I played this game. You're gonna one up all night? Like, I literally have to get a time over. Wait, nine minutes if I wanna. Oh my god. I can't warp out of here. And the stage just started! Well then, now I can explain my frustration without, without sucking at the game. <sighs> Great. Well done. Now we play the waiting game. Sonic Forces was just... Everything we wanted. Just... Just ended up being... <sighs> Either... Either underwhelming... Just playing bad, or just straight up lying. False advertising. I'm more referring to the villains. So in the game, uh, Infinite is revealed. Having um, Chaos from Sonic Adventure 1, Shadow on his side. Metal Sonic and Savik from Lost World for some reason. I just like Savok is Savok and the purple one. I don't even fucking remember his name. Only reason why I remember Savok's name is because he's been he's the main one. And what I was getting at is for some reason him and the purple one have been showing up a lot in spin-offs and just. I don't get it. Those characters weren't even fan favorites. Maybe S Savok is the closest to it, though. That's a given with him being the leader. He's a little cool one. Well, let's have a. Uh, Let's have the villains in Infinite beat up Sonic at the beginning of the game. Cut away with a black screen telling us that, oh, Sonic has died, or whatever. <laughs> I don't remember. And Eggman has taken over because for some reason the world. <laughs> the only thing in Eggman's way is. Arch Nemesis. No one else can match his strength. 
for some reason. Sonic is the main character, the chosen one. And then just... let's reveal that... Let's just reveal after the second level. No! Not even that! Like, it's literally right after they announce. Because, because the first level after that point is to get a shuttle to get to the Death Egg to save him. They just... Take that build-up, or take that. They said, oh, he's... he's perished. Which obviously they wouldn't do. I mean, he's a big character. And then they get news, oh, Sonic is alive. He's at the Death Egg. And Knuckles says he's been torturing him for months. He's been tortured by Eggman. But he's all fine when you see him just making jokes in the cell. Get saved, Sabok is there, you fight him, the lamest of the four villains. <sighs> then you don't see... Yeah, you do see. The way Sonic... Classic Sonic is reintroduced as um, Tails is for some reason trying to build Fix Omega. Because he's. He's like. I don't know, hasn't been charged in a while. Chaos sneaks up on Tails. Tails cowers like a baby. Sonic. Sonic appears, because it's a classic Sonic from Sonic Mania. Boops, Chaos, and that's all we see of him. That was Chaos's moment to shine. Just being... Just being booped once on the head. Going away. And that's it. The Metal of Sonic becomes a lame boss. Literally, like... Metal Sonic boss fight. Like, it is cool. Hey, it's a boss fight against one of the villains. That's cool. And then we get to the end of the game, you see that Infinite, his final fight, is literally the same as Metal Sonic. Like, exactly the same, just with his powers. Because he floats in midair, going ba flying backwards, and you can catch up to him to attack him. With, with how much cooler and more effort went into Infinite's boss fight, it's obvious that that was the first one they made. So Metal Sonic was a copy of Infinite's boss fight later in the game. So that's wasting Metal Sonic as well. Yama. Shadow was probably handled the best because... Shadow was introduced into the story, just appearing out of nowhere. Just... <clears throat> like, if you didn't play the DLC explaining why, what happened with him, why Infinite became angry. Yeah, Sonic thinks he's gonna face off against the real Shadow. Shadow appears, does his chaos control. Flies on up to the fake one, kicks him, just flying off into a wall, and says that's a fake. Like, that is awesome, because they paid homage to Shadow in two ways there, with him stopping time to, like, take out Shadow like he kicked Silver in the back of the head of Sonic in Sonic 06. Which is the best moment in the game, to many. Because it's funny. And he says, uh, he says that he was a fake. Ripper saying Sonic's Adventure 2. The faker, the infinite. The much beloved faker scene. So that's not too bad. Because the real shadow is took out the fake one in the cutscene. That's pretty cool. And that's all the villains. We have the lamest one get a unique boss fight. And the most 
to do. Chaos, which is the coolest one we haven't seen in the longest time. A fan favorite to many. Swept aside just to introduce Classic Sonic and make Tails. Act pathetic. Metal Sonic. Well, he's infinite boss fight at the end with the coat of paint. Shadow was handled in a cool way. And then there's Infinite, who just... How can people go get on Shadow being edgy when he was introduced when Infinite is the edgiest fucking character? His whole gimmick is to be as edgy as possible to appeal to the... Definitely not cool. Yeah, let's do what we did with Shadow, but not give him a very in-depth character and turn him into the most interesting character from the series. Let's just go all edge with this guy and have his motivations being he got beat up by the other edgy character being called weak and then just couldn't accept it and went child tantrum mode. Oh, when he's defeated at the end, he just starts withering away, flies off into the distance, and then just nothing. Fucking hell, this is a train wreck. I've been on about starting forces this whole time. Nine minutes. Let's finally finish this since I'm getting close to playing again. Sonic Frontiers is Sonic Team finally realizing that whatever they're gonna try to do is not gonna work, so they're gonna do what the big boys are doing. Hey, open world games, they, they've been, they've been uh, popular and getting good reviews lately. Yeah, let's take this platform series and turn that into a Fucking open world. Oh, and you know how Sonic Forces wasn't. Uh... There he is. I don't like that sound, Tails. Please stop. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I only have one life left. Yeah. Well. Might be a game over here. Don't you dare. Thank you, Tails. You saved my life because I'm gonna get it. Yeah, they're gonna... They're gonna take Sonic. Now when he's gotten back some fame. And, like, respect thanks to the movies. Just image back, I guess, in a way. Yeah, let's 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 just go with the most the most popular game genre outside of battle royale because at the moment FPS is probably more because FPS is more popular. We can make an FPS Sonic game or a battle royale Sonic game, so let's go with an open world one. Let's take our world from Sonic Forces that we worked so hard on, yet couldn't, yet wasn't creative enough. Think of unique locations, so we just reused old ones. Yeah, let's take that, throw it away, and make the most obvious Breath of the Wild clone. Look to the world with this, uh, with these uh, smaller worlds or levels you can go to, like dimensions or whatever. I don't fucking know. Now let's let's um let's not only bring back the Green Hill look, but let's take a stage from 
Oh, this is this. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, this is the stage that has the. Uh... What hit me there? I have an electric shield, that shouldn't have hurt me. Alright, back to the tears. Yeah, we're gonna take this obvious Zelda world. I'm not even trying to hide it. It looks nothing... It looks most similar to Sonic 06. I can't believe I'm saying that, but... Sonic 06 went with a realistic world. So does Frontiers, with no life in it. It's that we've seen. We just have to wait for its release, I guess. It might be a good game, but I know for a fact the Sonic team will never, ever... Believe in themselves enough to uh, try to make something unique and just something that'll be well received that isn't a copy of something else. I kind of wish the series would have died off with Sonic vs. Now. I really don't like the Frontiers as well. <laughs> and I hate to say that because I love the series. Most of it. Most of it due to nostalgia, not gonna lie. The early 3 3D games. I spent a lot of time with those. Growing up, so. I just grew to like them. enough to 100% uh, all of them. <sighs> well, whatever. Yeah. So I recently found out that they're adding this like new different realm. I hate these parts. Anyway. It's just way too easy to fail and go into the spine. More of a hassle. Yeah, let's have this, like, pretty much the same as Shrines from Breath of the Wild. Again, obvious, obvious inspiration from Breath of the Wild. Trying to hide it. Yeah, let's have that and make, like, these cool-looking levels that Sonic can go through. And let's keep having old looks, you know, Green Hill, everyone loves that. And not, let's not just do that. Let's, let's pretty much take the level, a level from Sonic Unleashed, like, this, the first level of Sonic Unleashed, give it a Green Hill look, and then pretend that... <sighs> That's a game over. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Now I see why the continues are here. Uh, I would have stopped if it would have been back to the starting screen. Because I don't want to do Act 1 again. Yeah, they literally took the first level of Sonic Unleashed, painted it to look like Green Hill, which we. No joke, we've seen it in every single Sonic game. Major Sonic game ever since Generations, it feels like. Let's do it again for like the tenth time in a row. And not just that, let's take let's take a stage from a previous game and make it look like Green Hill. And people are excited for this shit. Yes, Breath of the Wild was good and well received. That doesn't mean that taking long-running platform series has been known for, like, creative locations as such. Except not lately, because they're stuck, st they're stuck in a mindset that everyone wants Green Hill, Chemical Plant, whatever the fuck, for the hundredth time. Because they're too afraid! They've been bashed twice now, Sonic 06. 
mostly Sonic 06 because... I mean, it's surprisingly very first one I made by them. They greenlit it. They're just so afraid of getting... getting... criticism to this point now. That I'm taking all... I'm taking all the joy and just all the creativity from the series. on to be like the cool kids. What a surprise me if we end up seeing like what's a what's a popular Nintendo game lately? Uh I'm I'm trying starting to think of how they would take Odyssey and I mean, a great example to show the de decay of the series, so, like, ever since Sonic 06. So, Sonic 06, we have pretty much as many characters, like, many loved characters from the series join. But let's make them all playable, giving us a lot to work on. And it flopped. So the next game, Sonic Unleashed, had Sonic, Tails, and Amy, and that's it. The next game, only Sonic and Tails. Generations, they had to go with the characters, acting like they've been there on Sonic's side lately, like having a surprise birthday party. Let's see, what was, it, what was after that? Lost World? Well, Knuckles finally made it back into a game that wasn't all about fan service. That's it! Sonic Tails Amy. And Knuckles. Sonic Boom! Sonic Tails, Tails Amy Knuckles. All classic characters. Sonic Mania? Again, all classic, because that's what fans wanted. Sonic Forces. There's a reason why so many people, including myself, was so excited to see all the characters come back. Like, fucking, we haven't seen the Chaotix in so long, we haven't seen Omega, Rouge, outside spin-offs, of course. Silver was surprising. And now when that game flopped, because of lazy story, just stupid decisions in the story, and just having them do barely anything... Oh! Well, we try it again. Let's, let's, let's go back to having only Sonic. Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 is just straight up stupid. No rings with a boss that has arms or hands that are pretty much spikes. And you have to pretty much wait at the end of this room for him to attack and make him so vulnerable and do it over and over again. Left to right to left to right to left to right. 
And then just like Green Hill that everyone loves, let's let's have let's uh, let's have that boss be another one we bring back over and over as a fan favorite. When it wasn't even that good in the beginning to begin with. I feel so bad for Sonic Team. They've been they've been they believed in everything they've done. I'm gonna fight the boss without without rings. It's not gonna be pretty. These are the three rings. Oh yeah, this part. Robotnik is faster than Sonic. Super original joke. Well, at least we finally get to hear the awesome final boss theme. Again, it's more iconic with the big arm boss, but it's not included. I mean, I went from loving this game to just being frustrated about this, the state of the series. Explaining my frustrations, because that's what I love to do the most, apparently. I do it way too much. This is an awesome looking boss. This is amazing. Yeah, if I die, I'm not gonna have a ring to get this boss. That was too early! Alright, sneeze out your fire. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Tails. I'm, I'm happy I'm gonna rely on Tails because. Fuck! Fuck! I hate doing this boss without rings. This is the third time they've done this shit. No one likes. <sighs> My God. I don't even want to do the Doomsday Zone boss because this. Talking about this series lately has put me in a bad mood. This is so stupid. I hate the look of Frontiers. Like. People thought that way with Sonic Forces, but I liked it. This is more of what I think is wrong with the series. More than Sonic Forces was. I mean... Look at it like this. Let's think of some um, series that have turned into overall games. Zelda, Adventure. That's almost way too good of a fit. Let's try it. Oh, it was super successful, seen as one of the best games ever made now. Yeah, because we took spent so long working on the game and such. Let's see, another series. Um, well, I'm not too big on the game, so... What I'm trying to get is, why would you take that platform series has been around for so long. Too bad. Thanks to Trekker, all throughout with my 
bosses. Like sometimes the the bad fun bosses have gotten more of a more of a better reputation than the worst ones. The actual good ones. Like I really like the fun bosses on heroes, mostly because the No, I really think it's a cool boss and an awesome boss. At the same time, we have uh, what's the uh, final boss in the Bulldogs series? We have. Um, I'm not gonna hate on Sonic Adventure 2, but. I mean, the final boss. I mean, I guess you could say the same as. No! What am I even saying? Because. Metal Overlord is literally the same thing. The final boss have been, all been the same for so long. It's just this here, which is 3D and big water dragon or whatever. Giant space lizard, metallic monster. A literal god, god of light. Oh my god! Just saying, saying the final boss of the series makes you really question, question what, what happened. Okay, 3D. We have chaos, um, giant water, water dragon thing. Sonic Adventure 2, big space lizard fused with the space colony. Crash into Earth. Oh, nice. Uh, Sonic Heroes, we have awesome looking metallic transformation for a character that really could have used something cool like it. Then we have literal. literal. why I don't like this fight, because it's just... This part is way too long. You literally have to... <sighs> why do people like this fight, boss? Oh. No wonder I think so highly of Big Arm in Sonic 3 alone. This is much more entertaining and more... Just... more design boss. This is cool and all, but... I might not even finish this because I don't like this boss at all. I never have. Again, it's cool. That's pretty much all there is to this. I can't believe it though. They wanted to do something. Oh my god, just go into it. Shadow the Hedgehog, let's take, um... Let's take an alien overlord. Or alien leader. I want someone to just punish them in the face. Wipe them out. I don't want to fight this guy. No. <laughs> I'm done with Sonic 3. Let's make up for this by showing Knuckles' unique final boss. 
which I think is a really cool one. Look, it even gives you rings before it. What do you know? Something... Something... I don't know what the name of that one is. The final... It even has the final boss music playing. It's... Already I'm feeling s it feels so much more climactic, which is awesome. Which is <sighs> like he just took out the reason why Knuckles have been on a hunt for him. Like been going through the stages of this game. Take out a big robo, and this guy shows up. Just takes his revenge. I honestly feel like this is a very underrated part of this. This first part is not too bad, but it even has to. Fucker goes super mode. Like, oh my god, not even Metal Sonic has done this. And look at that, I have rings now, so I can actually survive with one hit. about this series. It honestly felt like when I came back, I stopped playing the game. I 
indeed. <sighs> well, I have fun up until Death Egg, I guess. I wonder how long it will take for Sonic Team to pass over the series to someone else, or like, just... <sighs> like it has... Sonic Forces is the newest game released in the series, and that was five, almost six years? It might just be six years ago. Fuck, that's so... <sighs> just... Just give the series to Christian Whitehead and his team. <sighs> he proved his worth with Sonic Mania. Hell, the fan... The, the fan base wanted him to... Make a new game, so Sonic Team decided we're actually gonna make a good decision and hand over and plan out a game for these developers that people wanna see for a game they wanna see and then let's build let's take that build it into our game we're making by having Mania's classic Sonic join Sonic Forces. And let's have so classic Sonic be so... so poorly put together and poorly added that the fans... most of the fans want him dead. They want classic Sonic gone now. And then let's take a couple of years, announce, announce our um, new game that'll bring back, bring back the hype. Now when the movies are doing good, and uh, announce that it's a Breath of the Wild clone with Sonic. A fucking platformer series. <sighs> That's like taking... That's like taking Metroid and making a farm game out of it. Or like... Making an FPS with Zelda. It's not that bad, but still. I really hope Frontiers flops. I really hope. Because people are so excited for it, and I'm just wondering... Have you been around the last decade? We're literally getting force-fed the same fucking stages for the eighth time in a row. And not just that, we're... We're getting just painted over levels from Sonic Unleashed. Like, no joke. It is 100% accurate to the Sonic Unleashed level. Just with Green Hill. That is, that is, that is the lowest point they've sunk into so far. Uh, let's not, let's not just bring back Green Hill, let's take, um, let's take a, let's take a level from the game that the fans are starting to forgive and like now. Let's take that with the beautiful world we built up in that game. Color it with Green Hill. 
and sell it as something new. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with this. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it. I'm done with Sonic for a while. Because if I, if I stream another Sonic game, this is going to come up. And it sucks. Well, I just wanted to get through Sonic 3 again. And I did. I was too surprised I didn't start going sooner about this. <sighs> well, I've decided. My, I've decided with my dad to go uh, leave to go to his with Nemo in the afternoon, so I'll probably be back home late afternoon or early evening when I usually start. Ugh. Yeah. I'll I'll finish Metroid Prime next. I really need to make a schedule for myself, but I because I keep forgetting what I'm planning to planning to stream and what I want to stream and whatever. All I know is that Path of Radiance begins November. That's it. I'll have to think about it. Think about what I want to do and when. Hey, <sighs> I'll let you know what I plan tomorrow. I don't feel ready to sleep, so I'm probably gonna do more organizing and cleaning. It's about time I clean my, bathe my fire amiibos, cause that's the best way to clean them. Laziest, no easiest way I feel. It is lazy too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna spend a couple hours on this. Jeez, I expected this game to be like three hours, not five and a half. I didn't get a time over in any of the stages, and the stages time over is at ten minutes. Wow. Alright. Nothing more to say. So I'll be back tomorrow most likely. <sighs>